here, of course, on the website if you want to see them. I love those ro those blue greys. They are amazing. So all of this is coming up for you in about yeah half an hour's time. And then let me show you the other colourway because this is gorgeous. I tell you what, those oranges are massively bright, aren't they? Check those out. Oh, I love that orange. That's amazing. We've only got 50 of that pack available for pre-order, but you can pre-order them on the phone lines and, of course, via the web now. And I hope you have a lovely time when you go out tonight. Um, I've picked up box number three. Am I supposed to be? <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so, these are your jump rings that you're getting with that gorgeous rose gold colour. Now, this is rose gold on top of copper. They're your openable jump rings in a 9mm. Now, it's not often that we get the 9mm on live TV. It's normally that they are bought via the website. So take advantage of the fact that you're going to get them at a live opportunity price point. Um, we've seen the 7 and the 6mm recently, but we haven't seen the 9mm for a little while. We've got a hundred coming up for you approximately within the pot that you get. They are all that beautiful rose, and they are a, they are a gorgeous rose gold colour. I tell you what, if you got the rose gold fairy kit the other night with myself and Katie Reid, um, these would just take that even further. And of course, if you are into your chain melt, you need to be, at, you definitely need to be making sure that you are multi buying these without a doubt. So. We've got collectors buying three. Thank you very, very, very much indeed. Anonymous collectors, please do make sure that you are checking out as quickly as you can. And I'll just, just quickly just take this in between the tweezers and just show you. And then, of course, we just literally just take that back into place and lock it into place like that. And that's just with tweezers. I know. See, there we go. All back in. Just make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can. Five ninety-five tonight. Five ninety-five. Make sure that you're checking out and confirming. I'm going to pick all of those back up, put them in the pot. We're going to move on to oh, yellow gold next. Let's bring you some yellow gold um, findings. Yellow gold colour findings. Of course, I need to make sure that I uh, stress that. These are your. These are great. These. I tell you what. These would look beautifully with our first kit tonight. Get in the tweezers. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Pop too big. <laughs> That's all right, but that was quite funny. <laughs> this is your something something silver with your yellow gold overlay, and it's eighteen karat gold overlay. And um, you've got a really decent size drill hole running through these yellow, well, eighteen karat yellow gold overlay. Beautiful tubes that you're getting here. 1.8 by 5 mil. Uh, 10 pieces that you're getting here. And I promise you, your price, you are going to be very, very, very happy that you got involved. Now, um, bearing in mind, we're at 2.95 for solid sterling silver and 18 karat gold. It's a bit nuts, that price, isn't it? With the, with the kit would be, yeah, they would be gorgeous, wouldn't they? They really, really would. That metallic colour and that gold. Beautiful tones. Really, really beautiful. Please do make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can on that one. Ridiculously low price. Ridiculously low. When you think about the price of precious metals and you think about how you're going to be using these, interspersing maybe seed beads, interspersing your genuine gemstones. We've got the most amazing ruby showcase coming up for you a little later. We've got Swarovski bundles coming your way. We've got amazing deals where we're taking Swarovski to way under £10. It's going to be fantastic and so much. Two ninety five solid sterling silver and 18 carat yellow gold. Now I'm going to pop those back in their little pot. And we're going to move on. And we're going to move on to number 12. Okay, honey. Now, this is... Pop that between the tweezers. This is your solid selling silver. Very, now, I know that I call... Uh, Ruth Lynette is very fondly known to me by two names. You will all know gorgeous Ruth Lynette. Um, Ruth Lynette, as you know, um, myself and my husband, we've known Ruth Lynette for about 20 years, so we call her either Big Bird 
or cat lady. <laughs> And she has this in rose gold overlay on a neckline piece that she was wearing to a christening that we were all at the other day. Um, and I've got to say, I, 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 that's so apt for you because she does love the pretty putty cats. She does indeed. Now, well, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's fine by, with being, yeah, absolutely. No, it's not. She's not offended by it at all. <laughs> Sorry, Ruth. I don't think she is. She's <laughs> not at all. No, uh, one uh, customer once, a uh, customer once uh, heard me calling a big bird and said, oh, that's so very rude. And Ruth was like, oh, no. <laughs> no, it's, it's, not, it's because I'm really tall. It's because when we all used to work together in this theatre company up in Yorkshire, um, she was known as Big Bird. You know, Big Bird. Oh, yeah, 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 Big Bird. So that was it. Oh, um, yeah. So we've got Solicilling Silver, uh, Stretching Cat that you've got here in solid sterling silver with a connector point as well. 95 solid sterling silver, 24 millimeter, one piece that you're getting in solid sterling silver, 595. Now again, just a simple solid sterling silver jump ring on that and it can be put onto bracelets, it can be put onto pendants, neckline pieces. I mean, you have got a really, really easy to attach beautiful solid and it is if i just spin it round solid something silver you can see that polish really lustrous 5.95 because i say well done lots and lots of you there making sure that you're checking out on this one brilliant to see well well done indeed i know that ruth would approve bless her heart you love you it. Uh, wouldn't it yeah with the pumpkin and then the cat yeah Great. definitely Ben's just worked out what mic you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Katie is here. She is speaking. Yeah. She is speaking. Oh, she... <laughs> That's all right. Um, you were saying then, weren't you, darling, about yeah. that it's a cat charm with the, the yeah, pumpkin you charm. Yeah, if you want some Halloween inspired Halloween, charm yeah, bracelets. Yeah, really good idea. Your pumpkin and your cat. Yeah, really yeah. good idea. Fab, fab, fab idea. Really like that. And we've got the skulls as well oh, coming yeah. up. So you'd have your cat, your pumpkin, and of course, you'd have the skulls. That would be a proper Halloween theme, wouldn't it? Do you hold those lines? Well done. I'm going to move on then to. Yeah, of course. Now we said that we had some sneaky Swarovskis coming up for you today. Let's let's give you the first one. Now, oh, it is sneaky Swarovski because the prices are sneaky. Now I'm just going to show you. I'm desperately trying to not get my fingerprints all over this, so bear with me a sec. Okay, so we've got the pendant backing and then we've actually got the Swarovski crystal itself. They come as two separate components and I'll show you that in a minute. What I've done is I've placed the tilted spike crystal in the Shara into its, into its base. So I'm going to tip it out now just so that you look at those colours, they're amazing. I'm going to tip it out now just so you get a chance to see the two components. So the backing comes to you like this and it's a brass base normally and then it's been rhodium plated which is part of the platinum family so that's the base for it and then what I'll do then is I'll pick up the tilt which is the uh, Swarovski show you the reverse because it's got that matte metallic back so it means that when you're using your glue to stick that in there, of course, it means that that effect is not missed out at all. Now look at those colours. Blues and greens and golds, really beautiful, beautiful tones. Simple, elegant, multi-buy, get a pair of earrings out of this for Christmas. Oh, they yeah. would be good, wouldn't they? Yeah. Really good. You've got a beautiful. If you were put, if you were multi buying four ninety five, you are definitely going to want to multi buy. You need two of these pair of earrings on Shepherd's hooks for Christmas. Boom, sorted. Under ten pounds for those components. If you were going to be buying two of those, of course. Hopefully, you've got some uh, sort of Shepherd's hooks stash at home. 
And that means then literally you're putting them together for somebody and you're gifting them genuine Swarovski for Christmas or for birthdays or indeed just for yourself to look absolutely smashing at any of those Christmas dues that will be on their way because those invites will be coming, won't they? If they haven't done already, they will be coming over the next few weeks without a doubt. 0800 655 And of course, do make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can. You can join us online and via the app one shipping and handling charge of the entire day. Do make sure that you're checking out on that one. That's under five pounds for a branded, genuine Swarovski element. Amazing price, well done. Well, well done. We've got a few fabulous deals on Swarovski coming up for you tonight, so keep your eyes open for those. Yeah, this is really nice. It's coming away in one opportunity time. Now, this is a really beautiful component to put into a connector bracelet. Have a look at this. Solid stunning silver, two connector points that you've got either end. So I'm just going to pop that there so you can see that. Let's come back in one opportunity's time. There are so many ways in which you can incorporate this into different pieces of jewellery. Uh, not quite yet, one opportunity's time. To take us up to that, though, we will bring you... Oh, those, uh, those pre-orders, by the way, on the CB kits are going through the roof. So please do make sure if you want to get your hands on those CB kits, you are checking out quickly, especially the one that we've only got 50 quantity of flying out of the door. Uh, OMG, those CBs are amazing. Thank you very, very much. Um, and uh, Cara says, got my CBs. Woohoo. <sighs> Fabulous. OK, next piece we've got big cabochon for you. It's like a field with kind of delicate little poppies in it, isn't it? It's like a sort of uh, old William Turner painting almost. This is Ukonite. Or oh, Unakite, as I should call it. Um, we've got a natural, mossy green beauty. Now, this is a gemstone that lends itself a little bit to the Jasper family in appearance, if you think about it. Um, each one is going to be different. Each one is going to be unique. So they're not all going to look like that sort of William Turner painting. But the one that I've got specifically here, it does look like a field of poppies, it does, it doesn't does. it? It's uh, absolutely beautiful. Really amazing. Now, you've got a big gemstone here, 40 by 30 millimetres. It's been beautifully buffed. Now, the back is slightly mattified in comparison to the buff at the top but what it shows you is that that pattern runs through the entire cabochon so it's all natural it's all unenhanced there's no dyeing there's no enhancement here that is a natural beautiful unakite gemstone and th those greens that you see sometimes there's a little bit of orange that runs through that sort of moss green and it can look a little bit like your ocean jasper but then as soon as you see the splash of that sort of pinkish red throughout that gemstone, you just know what it is, don't you? 0800 644 655. Under two pounds. Get out of town. <laughs> what? That would be nice to um, see bead embroider around, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, with uh, any, any of the metallic colours. Yeah, from, from the definitely. Coat, make a beautiful, beautiful bezel from that. It's got a nice depth yeah, to it, hasn't it? It has, it has. It's got a really nice depth to it. I like that, for when you, especially when you're beading around cabochons. Yeah. You need that sort of, so you get that undulation as it comes round. Well, we're yeah. going to see that a little bit later anyway, aren't yes, we? That sort yes, of look. Um, like that. And you've shown us that quite a couple of times yeah, when you've been yeah. in with us as well. Mm -hmm. It is a lovely technique with the seed beads with a cabochon like this because not only does it encase it and the colours of the seed beads that we do yeah. and that you've used before so complement those yeah. gorgeous cabochons, but also it just protects it as well, it does, doesn't it? It gives it that kind of buffer yeah. around, around the edge, yeah. so it protects, protects your genuine gemstone. Um, your necklace that you're wearing is particularly lush. Thank you. Um, now, that is your own necklace, that, isn't it? Is now, it's own. got a golden obsidian in the centre. Yes. Um, the necklace. Yeah. Now, those beads that you've got, yeah, the seed beads that you've got, now I know that's seed beads that you had already at home, yeah, but yeah. they coincidentally were part yeah. of your kit yeah, yeah, as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are in the kit. They're one of my favourite coloured seed beads. They are a yeah. lovely colour. We're going to yeah. see that a little bit later on. Uh, we're also going to see the weave, aren't we? Yes, in, in our in second, second kit, kit at I'm nine o'clock. doing this, this, this 
weave this feeding stitch. Fabulous. Yeah. I love how you've um, contained that round. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, had the idea for it, and I just thought... Just it's almost like an eye. It is. I call, it, I call it my dragon's eye. Yeah, that's a great, it's fabulous. <laughs> fab, fab, fab. Listen, make sure you're checking out on that. You are looking at under two pounds for a beautiful natural cabochon. Hold those lines. Um, it's time. It is time. We're going to bring you our knotted connector. Solid stunning silver, beautifully dainty, and um, many, many maze, many, many maze, many ways in which you can use it um, at an amazing price as well. So we sold out of this in May of this year, and we haven't had it since. It's back. And I can understand why it's sold out. The fluidity of the silver, it's almost silk-like in its sort of the, the, the tactility of it all, the way that it flows. It's gorgeous. Um, it just drapes. Now, I have to say, as kind of your shoulder grazers as we call them, your long length earrings, something like that is going to look absolutely amazing on the run up to Christmas. It really, really is. But it, it has been made specifically, obviously, for a bracelet. However, back in May, our guest designers, of course, wowed us all with their different interpretations of this. Um, do have a look on our YouTube channel uh, and see if you can see the sellout opportunity that happened back in May on this connector. It is lovely. So there's two large connector points here. Now, obviously... This is what it was commissioned for. So I'm going to just show you. Oh, hang on a minute. Stay there. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. So it's that you can see very delicate, very pretty. And basically it, it's that love knot, isn't it? It's that wonderful sort of interpretation and, and sim, symbolic sort of look that you're getting with the bracelet. Now, obviously it could be used as the main focal point of a piece of jewellery. You could as well, and I'll just judge the old neckline down because it's quite high, but you could also, if you had one of our slider mechanism neckline pieces and you wanted to add that then as the connector point on the neckline, let me get that to sit right, there we go. That looks really, really nice. But also, I know that you will use your own imagination here and be able to create maybe gemstone, uh, beautiful attachments. And that would be lovely. I have to say, it is a very high grade piece of solid stunning silver with very, very, very beautiful fluidity to it. You can see how it takes on the contours of every moment of your skin as it sort of drapes. It, you know, there's not one minute where it's kind of not flexing and not fluid. But then you think about the gemstones that you could work with it. We know we've got a beautiful ruby showcase coming up for you later. That would work with it as the back of the bracelet. Um, everybody, by the way, at this moment in time is multi-buying. Everybody so far that has got involved. Thank you so much for your trust. It's a nice fluid bit of silver. You can see the way that it drapes. Yeah. It's like material, isn't yeah, it? I would want one as a bracelet and then I would take the end off, off one end yeah. and then make it kind of that Y necklace so it separates. Yeah, lovely idea. So say that again, so you'd take, so, so, one take is, so one is a bracelet. Yeah, one is a bracelet. Yeah, and then, then so I would take the connector off, off one of the ends. Yeah. Separate oh, them, I and see. And then connect it yes. to a sterling silver necklace. That's a great and then we've got idea. And a long Y yes. drape and maybe just a gemstone from the end or that Swarovski that we had earlier. Uh, now you, yeah, could, you could definitely yeah. do that and I'm going to show you why, you could, that's a, such a good idea because the silver, can you see when I push that together, these silver links are embedded together and all linked in, so it doesn't open. Yeah, it's not going to It slide. doesn't come undone. Yeah. So if, like Katie was saying, you removed this connector and opened this up so that it sat as a sort of Y-shaped necklace drop. Oh, I like that yeah. idea a lot. That's a really nice idea, that is. Absolutely fab. 
it doesn't come undone is what I'm saying all those links are locked into each other in the knot itself very cleverly done um, you've got your 1.8 grams of solid stunning silver 110 millimeters 695 on your screen for something that is beautifully beautifully made it's gorgeous isn't it oops it's very very slippery I love it I just think that the silver is so beautifully made. The way that it flows it is, is gorgeous. It is, it's just that fluidity yeah, of it, isn't it? it's lovely. Really, really lovely. I, it's quite contemporary as well, isn't it? It's got yes. that little bit of a sort of Elsa Peretti look, yeah. kind of your Tiffany yeah. look, isn't it? Yeah, it's great for any age, any age group as Definitely. well. Definitely. Yeah. It's quite high-end. It has got that sort of high-end, simple, sleek aesthetic appearance. We all know Elsa Peretti and Paloma Picasso, of course, favour that kind of sleek, uh, uh, sleek aesthetic. I can't feel my, I don't know whose teeth I've got in tonight. Clearly not my own. Sleek aesthetic. No. Yes, the what is it? The back of the teeth and back of the teeth and the tip of the tongue. I'm not doing that right at all tonight, am I? Yes, how now, brown cow? Uh, Six ninety five on your screen. Please do make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can. Lovely to have your company tonight. Lovely busy Friday night already, which is fabulous. We've got another half an hour of this first hour, and in fifteen minutes, seed beads. We have had a message in, and the message says. Uh, from Michaela, he says, hi, Ray, what time is the CB trays coming up as I missed them last time? Ah, oh, Michaela, um, they are coming up for you at these ones here. Oh, I'm dreading picking these up. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, these ones, Michaela, is this what you're talking about, my lovely? These are coming up at 7.30. I wasn't quite sure what I was looking at earlier, if I'm going to be honest with you. You've got these two little funnels. And I was thinking, good gosh, it looks like some sort of torture contraption. I'm not quite sure what it is. But it does totally make sense. Absolutely. Look at that for a little carry case. Fab. Absolutely fab. Um, these are literally trays for you to stack your seed beads. In case you're at home and you're going, mm, what is that? This is your seed bead stacker tray. So every layer has got space with a lovely secure lid, by the way, because that's hashtag important. Uh, that is coming your way a little later on. Looking forward to that. 7.30, Michaela, my lovely. Oh, we are going to pop them on pre-order. Excellent. Okay, we're popping those on pre-order for you, uh, Michaela. So if you'd like to get a hold of those, please just uh, nip onto the website or onto the phone lines and pre-order that now. They will be in an hour's time, though. I don't know if you've got one of those. I haven't. I've seen them on before. I think I missed them that time, so... Probably going to miss them again tonight. Sorry, we'll put it in Katie's back when she goes home. Oh, shh, everybody, shh. <laughs> we are going to move on for you. We've got loads coming up for you tonight. Let's bring you some more beautiful space be uh, space bars. Um, these, I love these. These are so nice. These are solid sterling silver with a very, very beautiful, proper rose gold sheen. It's not over the top, it's not too brassy. It, it, it is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Look at that pink gold, it is gorgeous. Uh, you are getting 10 of these, they're 10 by two millimeters. Rose gold plated, solid stunning silver, beautiful, beautiful component here. Again, they, they've got a lovely luster off them and they are gonna give a nice contemporary finish to a piece of jewelry. Rose gold everywhere, and they will work so well with our first kit. So good with the first kit. Um, and, of course, the, the gorgeous jewellery that Katie... Where is the jewellery? Can we get it in a minute? Is that possible? Please. Thanks ever so much. Um, I, keep, I keep going to look at it, and then it's like, I'm like, where is it? It's gone. Um, $4.95. $4.95. These are a lovely size. They've got really lovely, look, every side of this lovely square tube has got that gorgeous luster. You can see that bouncing off the light there. Isn't that gorgeous, the gleam? $4.95. 10 by 2 millimetres. And that beautiful rose gold. They are gorgeous. $4.95. Do make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can. Talk to the call centre and confirm. You're getting 10 in a pack. It's got a very decent sized drill hole going through there as well. So I imagine many of our mediums are going to pass through there. No problem whatsoever. We're then going to move on to number 13. Which is your opal. Now, organic 
natural and enhanced opal comes at a bit of a price eight carats of ethiopian opal eight carats of it in total in probably one of our most popular strands when you think about it the plain rondelles and the faceted rondelles probably our longest standing popularity on the uh, the design of strand that we do for you now october's birthstone there is a little bit of play of color coming through in the studio lights i'm going to just bring in a little bit of shadow hand for you just so that you can just see Oh, I can't even do that with my hands today. I'm so sorry as well about the state of my nails if you're at home, but I, they are, they are horrendous. I've been doing DIY and I've been teaching fitness classes and they are all broken. And you know when actually your own finger gets its own pulse because Ooh. it's so sore. <laughs> and you wake up at two yeah. in the morning going, oh, oh. Yeah, Kimmy Cringe. Honestly, yeah. this happened. <laughs> I know, I know. So we'll ignore those today. We'll ignore the nails today. Um, Eight ninety under ten pound for organic, genuine opal. Opalescence. Little bit. There is, there is play of colour here, but you're just not seeing it. I'm so sorry. Just not coming through with the studio lights at all. You can see a little hint of green, a little hint of orange, just at the top part there now, where my hand's dipping out, right at the top of the uh, right at the top of the screen, right, 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 right at the top. You can see there's a little bit of green, a little bit of orange shooting through that opal. Well, you get that throughout the strand, and it's only eight ninety five. Do make sure that you're checking out. Of course, that is October's birthstone that you are getting in your stash for under ten pounds. Well done. Well done. We're going to move on to colour. Oh my gosh. How bright is that? Now, I, can I just say, the, I'm going to say this right now, the camera lens is not showing you how bright and how vivid these are at all. Right, I am going to pour a little bit into here. I'm gonna make. That doesn't show how bright they are either. No, they are hot, hot pink. They are, isn't it? I'm gonna. They are like a proper hot pink. There's a funnel. We can pour them all back into. Everyone's like, oh no. There's a funnel. We'll be fine. There's a funnel with the trays. Now that is bright and vivid and bursting. Size 15s that we've got here of your Mayuki Dye Transparent Fuchsia Seed Beads. And they are a very, very powerful fuchsia. They really are. They glow. Absolutely amazing. Uh, CB Bundle's coming up for you very, very soon indeed. But let's bring you a little cheeky tube. And what I'm going to do now is use the funnel from the kit. Yeah, look. Let's do this. Oh, look how easy that was. Oh, those funnels are fantastic. I've just, look, all setting out really quickly. Sorry about that. All setting out very, very quickly. About 10 of those tubes left at 2 95 it's a bit of a bargain, isn't it? It is. I love a size 15 as well. Never thought I would say that. Do you know such... what? You yeah. might be one of the only guest designers yeah, who no. says that. Yeah, I mean, I don't use them massively, but just to add them little bits of detail that yeah. here and there where you've just got a little gap of thread and you think it would look better if it had a bead okay. on it. It just fills all the little gaps and gives you really, really a lot of detail. Most of our guest designers will go, Oh, there's lots of size fifties, but yeah, I think you're one of the only ones. I mean, ones I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay over a whole bracelet in them. <laughs> it can be done, but you know, not that crackers. <laughs> but yeah, just for adding those beautiful little bits of detail on. Yeah, too. lovely. Yeah. They're a fantastic colour, absolutely fantastic. Let's squeeze one more in before our uh, seed bead bundles. Yes, let's. Pearls and nice sizable pearls as well. They are a lovely size. 
Nice, obviously, to be able to concentrate on seed beads and Swarovskis for those of you who love them. Um, what's great as well, though, is for those of you who still love your genuine gemstones and still want to work with your genuine gemstones, we're still going to be able to offer those to you. Now, these are Barocco pearls. Um, they are of a very similar shape and size, all of them, um, and they have practically zero satin rings at all around them. They really have the most amazing pearlescence. They're also natural and unenhanced when it comes to the colour and the pearlescence. So these are organic, cultured, freshwater pearls with no enhancement in colour or pearlescence at all. Now, they're quite sizeable as well, and they look as if they've got a fairly decent sized drill hole going through them. So if you think about the mediums that we now offer you with the wildfire, with your fire line, you think about the different mediums that we're able to offer you since we first started, you've got so many choices in how to thread. In fact, lovely Fleur Hastings was uh, holding a pearl knotting course for beginners today here at Jewelry Maker, a sold out course as well. But it is one of our most popular, really is. 0800 1495 for that strand of real pearls. Real deal pearls. They're a lovely size, aren't they? Yeah, they? they're, they're, they're that, that perfect go-to size. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they are. They're, they're not too big. Yeah. And yet they're not the rice bead yeah. size. I mean, if you were starting out with pearl knotting, that's the kind of size yeah, I would go for. Yeah, definitely. You're not going for the two chunky ones or well, the some, seed beady ones. Yeah, it's a yeah. nice size just for a simple classy yeah. bracelet, isn't it? Yeah. You know, when you think about a very, very tasteful pearl bracelet, something very simple, something very elegant, $14.95. All on your screen. Do make sure you're checking out, won't you? We've got star buys. Those two bundles of fabulous seed beads. All yours, I hope, if you are either one of the lucky 72 or 50 that we've got. Please do make sure you're joining us for our star buys. <laughs> Okay, so, um, shall we, yes, so I'm going to just separate them up. Um, gorgeous colours, absolutely gorgeous colours. We're going to do the one with the biggest quantity first for you, and then we'll come to the, the bright sort of burnt orange colours that we're all kind of raving about. Um, there are some amazing colours in this. Now, it's very, very less of stock. So basically, we've looked at where we've got sort of approximately 70, sort of 80 of each tube available. We've bundled them together. As it works, we've got seven, is it 72 or 74, my lovely? 72, thanks, sweetheart. So we started with 72. Now, okay, so we have um, in this last chance seed bundle, let's deal straight away with the Delicas. The Delica looks like Morganite. It is beautiful. It's a matte transparent pink mist seed bead in a size 11 Delica. Really, really gorgeous colours that you are getting through there. I don't know if you can see them through that tube, but they are absolutely, they are looking like a very beautiful, like a nude pink, like a blush pink, really soft and delicate. The next colour may be one of my favourites out of all of the seed beads that we do. Now, down the camera lens, it doesn't look like much, but it is the beautiful Mayuki Blue Grey Seed Bead in the size 11 and it's got this beautiful it's like a, a blue gray color but with almost like a rose gold um like a, a sort of sparkly glow to it so these two together in a piece of jewelry would look absolutely outstanding together and then we go and give you so much splash of color with the rest of it so we'll go through the next three tubes for you you've got a light pink and this is in your size 11s, and it's just called light pink. Then we've got your beauty, and they are absolutely, these are the Chartreuse lined green Aurora Borealis tube that you're getting in there, which is fantastic. And they're in the size 8s. And then also in your size 8s are your silver lined 
aqua aurora borealis. So things to think about because certain effects within the seed beads mean that the price is higher. So if you have a galvanized, if you have a duracoat, if you have an aurora borealis, if you have something where the, the finish has been enhanced or perhaps the, uh, the, the sort of the glow and the sparkle has been, you're looking at a more expensive seed bead. So when you're thinking about the two at the end here, the, the uh, beautiful blue aurora, uh, aurora borealis and of course the chartreuse lined green aurora borealis they would normally be more expensive than your sort of standard mayuki so let's just go through that again get the delicas in that beautiful matte light pink in a size 11 delica uh, then you're getting your lovely silver blues uh, your blue greys of course as they're known in the uh, size 11s then you're getting the size 11s in the pink and then the size 8s in the aurora borealis chateroos lined green and silver lined aqua now this has flown out the door i've only got a few left Price on your screen, 0800 655 2195 and over half of that stock is out of the door. Can I see some names back, please, my lovely? Thanks, darling. Hello to Terry, hello to Caroline, hello Laurie and Sally and Kate and Susan, Sharon and Caitlin, hello Penelope and Helena, hello to Helen and Chris, hello to you Cousin Cheshire and Linda and Sharon and Esther, hello to Joyce and Fiona and Dorothy, hello to collectors in New Mexico, Cambridgeshire, uh, Pembrokeshire, Norfolk, Shropshire, Devon, Oxfordshire, lovely to have your company tonight. Um, really lovely to see such gorgeous colours and very very last of stock now you may not use all of these colours together you may just be getting it for your stash i don't blame you perhaps you're looking forward to get your hands on this now this is available for you now to pre-order the code is at the bottom of the screen for you it's the bead and go tray you can pre-order it now it's got your two two funnels and then, of course, you have then got all the entire tray that you've got going on there with multiple, multiple, multiple dishes for your beads. All that, all through. Let's pop that back over there. It's coming up at half a seven for you tonight. Half a seven. Hello, so, so many of you there. Do need to check out uh, Dorset, New Mexico, Somerset, Pembrokeshire, Cambridgeshire, uh, Lincolnshire, Dorset, and Hampshire. Good luck. The next one I've got. Well, I had 50 of, I don't have 50 left. These colours are outstanding. It's the warmth, the autumnal colours, it's the metallics, it's the really, I mean, one of these literally looks like it is genuine amber. It isn't, but they've done it very, very, very well. Very well. Um, last stock again for you. Let's go through... So, we've got for you your silver-lined dyed pumpkin in the size 15, okay? And that's the Duracoat. So, remember, these are slightly more expensive. You've then got, of course, your galvanized gold in the size 15. Beautiful complementary tones. You've then got the matte silver-lined orange seed beads in the size 6. Now, it's not often we get size six in a kit. Grab them while you can. Then you've got the silver-lined dark topaz. Now, this is billed as dark topaz. It looks like Baltic amber. It looks like Baltic amber. Um, you can see why Baltic amber, it can be faked so easily. Obviously, we don't do fake Baltic amber, but that bead that you've got there does look like amber. It looks amazing. Um, then you've got there a transparent green Aurora Borealis crystal sea beads in a size 8. We like this one, don't we, a lot? We do. We do. The, the colours are leaping to be worked with together. They really, really are. Um, last of stock bundle, we had 50. Yeah, I don't have 50 left. I've got about 23, 24 left, and they're 17, 75. So you, you know, as we bring in that price for you, that we, have, we, have, we do everything we can 
on the prices of all of the tubes. You've got to remember that the Duracoat becomes more expensive. So different finishes mean a, a sort of a higher price point, basically, on your seed beads. So when you see them and you see them for a price like this, grab them. They're under £4 per tube. Amazing value. Absolutely amazing value. It's nice. You've got two tubes of size 6 in this one. Yeah. Yeah, we don't see this. No, we that don't. Often. Yeah. Really don't. Um, 11 in baskets not checked out. Hi, Joanne. Hello, collectors in Staffordshire. Hello, Veronica in Gloucestershire. Uh, collectors in Somerset, Stella, Caroline. Collectors in Greater London, Laurie, Sally, Susan, and Kate. Uh, less than 20 left. Brian and Angela. Nicolette and Geraldine. Hello to Pamela and Lady V and Ellen and Sally and Jennifer and Penelope and Lana. Hello to Catherine and Mary and Helena. Candy, Carol, Vera and Lynn and Sharon and Clutters in East Sussex. Helen and Chris and Linda, Tatiana. Please do make sure that you're checking out. Great value for money. Really, really great value for money. Um, please do make sure that you are checking out and confirming there, won't you? Don't leave it to chance in your basket. Make sure that you're taking it straight the way through and checking all that out. Huge good luck to you in those two opportunities. Um, please, can we see? I want to get my bean and go before I leave. Can we see it again? Yes, of course you can. Okay, so this is the bead and go, okay? I'm just having a... Ah, there we go underneath, okay. So this is the bead and go. Um, you have one two, three, four, five, six layers. They all stack onto each other and they all look exactly like the top layer. So if I just show you, <laughs> team light, stop opening the seed beads, woman. <laughs> well, it is okay. It is okay until these lids don't come off. No, I'm not doing <laughs> <laughs> I fear the worst on yeah, that some one. Some of them do kind of a. No, explode. I'm not going. Poof. Be like confetti. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. So if I put a few in there now. Right. Put the lid back on. Push that down nice and firmly as well. There we go. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten compartments where you can store your seed beads. And then, of course, you've got the lid there that's nice and secure. What's great, though, funnels, to be able to then transfer your beads back into tubes if you need to. That's great, though, I'm assuming, if you've got a commission and you want to go to somebody's house and show them different colourways yeah. Yeah, you can take and discuss with colours, them. But also, if you're travelling or you're going on holiday but you don't want to take big tubes yeah. of seed beads, yeah. you can just take what you need and it's mm. all nice and safe and secure in there. Yeah. Fab. Fab, fab, fab. This is coming up at half past seven. You can pre-order it now. Last time it was on air, it sold out. So please do not miss out on that. Right, we are going to squeeze in. Yeah, which one, my lovely? Yeah, I've got it. So we've got an offer on your Swarovski for you now. This is, and I'm double checking I've picked up the right one with Beck in the gallery. It does look like literally I've picked up a length of diamonds in a tennis bracelet, yeah. doesn't it? They'd be extortionate diamonds, <laughs> I can tell you can now. Imagine. This is the rhodium plated casing. So it's a brass casing with a rhodium platinum family casing uh, on the, so the, the sort of plating on that. Uh, then you've got 50 centimeters of your Swarovski cup chain. And it is, it is like looking at a beautiful length of D grade flawless diamonds. It is spectacular fire, spectacular scintillation, spectacular return of light. It really is. Um, this 50 length chain, just that 50 length chain, okay? That sparkle, that is going under, that's going under 10 pounds. 8.95. Uber sparkly, isn't it? 8.95 on your screen. 
Oh, my goodness me. You've seen a prismatic return of light there. Hi, Kay. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Helen and Chris and Nicolette and Jennifer and Fiona and Carol. How are you all tonight? I hope you're very, 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 very well. Isn't it amazing to get that under £10? Even if you're, at this moment, you're not 100% sure what it is that you're going to do with this cup chain. Our guest designers can give you so many different amazing ideas. Just go to our YouTube channel, scroll through and find any of our guest designers that have worked with it before, um, and you will find that they have so many gorgeous ideas. You can also get in touch with them on their, um, on their Facebook pages as well. If you go to our main Facebook page, Jewelry Makers Facebook page, um, and any of our guest designers will hop on there, I'm sure, and advise you on how you can use this. Now, while you are just kind of coming in for that, I want to show you a brand new, brand new, in the nine o'clock hour, for the first time, it's your Siam, that beautiful bright red, and I, you, you can't see that bright red, but I promise you that is a proper ruby red in the studio. It's the Siam with the gold brush chain. That's coming up in the nine o'clock hour later. Plus, we've got a few other cup chains as well, all coming your way with a very naughty price point. So if you like that, keep your eyes peeled. Katie joins me on the other side of this so that we can bring you our first kit of the night. It's coming with the most amazing metallic tones of your seed beads and of course the amazing talent of Katie. Coming up for you on the other side of this. Hello everyone, uh, guest designer Mark Smith here with some amazing news. I'm very, very, very excited about this. On Wednesday the 1st of November, it's going to be Mark Smith Day. So everything that Mark Smith loves about Jewelry Maker and its products will be showcased throughout the day. So in the morning show, I'll be on with presenter Carol and we're going to have a chip and nugget bonanza. One of the kits, in fact, just to let you in on a little secret, is going to have 10 metres in length of chips and nuggets with a bit of wire thrown in and the most amazing diamond kit as well. And then in the afternoon from one till six, we're going to have be joined by presenter Becky and we're going to be talking about paracord and wire macrame, which I haven't done wire macrame for so long, I'm really excited about it. And then in the evening, presenter Zena and I will be focusing on Swarovski and Seedbees, another massive love of mine. So I hope you can join me and the amazing presenters on Wednesday the 1st of November for Mark Smith Day. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury-making journey today. Jurymaker, 
the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Welcome, welcome. It's gorgeous to see you tonight. Um, and I am joined by fabulous Katie, who has made incredible jewellery. Um, first and foremost, let's have a look at the jewellery, because you haven't had a chance to see it yet. It's been um, out in the office being photographed. But just come and enjoy some of these amazing moments. The colours are phenomenal. There is some amazing galvanised metallics coming through all of this. Um, again, just having, if I, I'm, obviously we're going to be looking at um, this centre point here. But if I just show you this little section here, you can see that Katie's made the bracelet to go with it as well. It's lovely. It's so nice. I love Ultra I suede. I love the <gasps> oh, yeah. hang on, I've dropped it. <laughs> there we go. Um, it's all coming your way. Um, obviously, with the demo, we're going to show you all of that. But you've got some beautiful earrings. You've got a gorgeous ring. This is fabulous. Do you know what? I don't think we're doing this enough. Hashtag no. just saying. Yeah. It's just, they are it's gorgeous. Just fancy, but it, it, with these colours as well, it's just perfect. Mm. That's nice. They are gorgeous. I love that. Hashtag is really, it's, hashtag's great, you two in the gallery. They're like, oh my God, did you just say hashtag again? That's, I say hashtag and I say lol a lot too. Pardon? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. <laughs> They're just taking the mick out of me now in the gallery. They're like, oh, Ray, you think you're so cool and down the kids. Moving on. <laughs> We have got a gorgeous kit to bring you. Um, comes in two parts. Uh, we're going to start with your ultra suede and the uber sparkle that we've got coming through here. So let's bring you your ultra suede. And it is that beautiful, the tan colour works so beautifully with the kit, doesn't it? It does. It does. It just works mm -hmm. with all mm -hmm. the colour tones. So smooth as well. Both sides, isn't yeah, it? Both, both sides, sides of it are gorgeous. Identical. Really lovely. And this is the thing, if I just show you the underside of the bracelet, or the cuff, I should say, that Katie's made, that's what sits up against your skin on your wrist. That smooth, very comforting, actually, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's like a little scarf. It wrist. is. It's gorgeously smooth. So that is your ultra suede. A massive piece as well. So it's going to go a very, very, very long way when you're talking about the ultra suede. So you've got your ultra suede here in that lovely tan colour that does work so beautifully with these. Then we've also then got for you Swarovski bicones. I'm going to tilt that up without hopefully... Dropping them out of there. You got all that sparkle coming your way. And then, so that's your beautiful, uh, your Swarovski clear crystal bicones. Now, bearing in mind, they're four mil, you're getting a 48 pack, okay? Then we're looking at the sew on drops. Now that's exactly what Katie has kind of featured on that amazing bib style neckline piece with all that fantastic fringe work. I can only imagine how long it took you to yeah. do all those lovely fringing works yeah, on that, that. That was a bit of an epic. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it, it's so full. Yeah, it yeah, does. Well, it's a really. Yeah, it looks amazing. All those bicones. They just look so great together. They do look beautiful. Let's talk about those gorgeous, uh, those gorgeous big sew on drops. So, they've got the metallic back. So I'm going to show you. It's got that flat back, so it sits beautifully. You can see how Katie has set it up beautifully against the uh, the ultra suede. What I'm going to do then is spin it towards you. Look how it doesn't lose its light. Isn't that phenomenal? I'd like that in a ring, please. Thank you. <laughs> it is a beaut. So you're getting the larger size, and this larger size, 28 by 17 millimetres for the larger. Then you get three smaller sizes. 
So you're getting three of these, and these are 18 by 10.5. So three of the smaller size, one large one, three smaller sizes, and of course all the Swarovski Bico. 18.95 for part one of this kit and you've got a real authentic feel with this all these gorgeous colors it's slightly tribal but it's not it's slightly native american but it's not you've got all these amazing metallics which are absolutely of the moment and on trend within the fashion world so it's a real blend of genres isn't it yeah, yeah you can go in any direction yeah it? it's a great great kit and it'll mix with all the rest of your stash beautifully absolutely and the thing is as well we talk about the um we talk about the ultra suede when you've got your I mean let's just have a look I'm just gonna pick this up Katie's other piece so you can see the backing there of the ultra suede so that's the part that's gonna be sitting up against the neckline beautifully soft no jagged edges stunning up against the skin as well you can see the finish is phenomenal Katie you've got such yeah. a high high quality finish my lovely you really have okay. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that back on the bust but I just wanted to show you, so you can see uh, the ultra suede that Katie's used. Now, that's, this is Katie's... That's what <clears> I got left. <laughs> thank you, my darling. So this is Katie's, you can see the substantial jewellery uh, and the amount of jewellery that Katie's made. And she's still got all this ultra suede left. That's enough for at least oh, a whole yeah, other suite, isn't it? You could do a huge it? other set piece. You could make brooches, you know, pendants. Yeah. Lots. I, I just think that, that it just goes such a long way, doesn't it, my yeah, lovely? It you have that back in your stash. <laughs> right, so that is part one of your kit. Now, part two, we know is going, we know, we know is going to be ridiculously popular. How many of them do we actually have? Just under 100. Okay. Um, when the graphics come on for these, uh, it's going to be literally a fight to the finish line for it. Let's talk about Katie's favourite bead first so this is the the neckline piece that Katie's wearing which is her own piece of jewelry with the golden obsidian and it is it, it, it's her own piece that she's made for her we'll be seeing the weave later in a different kit but with the golden obsidian in the center um, and what Katie's calling her dragon's eye piece which I think is amazing but it's made out of these isn't it Katie yes, yes it is what is it about this bead that you love I, lo I love this sort of autumnal colors anyway but this gives you autumnal terminal with that metallic mm. look to There's it. a flash of purple There's in there as well, though, isn't there? You get flashes of green, you can even get blues in mm. there. It's beautiful. Yeah. So these are our size 11s. No, they're not, they're size 8s. Eight. That's a yeah. good one. So size 8s, and that means that these are <laughs> metallic gold iris seed bead. So that's the metallic gold iris seed bead in your size 8. Let's stay with the size 8s and bring in very clear crystal. So this is also in your size eight and this is the matte crystal seed bead. Then we move on to your galvanized silver and that's in your size 11. We've then got for you your, oh, these are gorgeous. Look at those. These are the, I think these are galvanized muscat. Wowzers uh, in a size 11, galvanized yellow gold seed beads in the size 11 as well. And finally, to finish, you are getting that the Pearl Salon. Now, everybody's asking if they can see Katie's own necklace. Take it off. No, 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 you don't need to take it as long as you don't mind no, just zooming in. <laughs> it is a fantastic, it is fantastic necklace. Now, we're going to be seeing this weave later with Katie in the nine o'clock hour. Different kit, but the same way. So we're, Katie's gonna be showing us that technique in the second kit at nine o'clock. But you can also see how she's captured that golden obsidian. And it does look, it, it's almost, it has got that yeah, almost reptilian that, effect, yeah, isn't it? Where the, the eyelids are opening yeah. and then the eye is there. Very, very cleverly done, very, very cleverly done. Um, now you're getting all six tubes fantastic colors 
And don't forget some of those finishes, especially when you've got the Duracoat, you've got the Duracoat Galvanized Muscat, you've got the Pearl Salon, you've got the Galvanized Silver, you've got all these different finishes. You've got the, uh, the, the Iris, for example. The Iris is always more expensive as well. All of those together, six tubes for under £30. Under £30, way under £27.95 on your screen. You've got six tubes in all, £27.95 and a massive demand for this. Works out about £4.65 per tube. £4.65 per tube. Right then, come on in for it, grab it while you can and over to you Katie my lovely. Right. You're going to show us aren't you my love? I'm going to grab this and bring it over to us yep. so you can refer to it when you need to. Yep. We're going to be looking at this section here aren't yeah, we? Yeah just so I've basically bezeled around the uh, the so on the, the Swarovski and then we've made this kind of pattern around it so I'm going to show you how to, lovely. How to get your, your uh, so on set and yep. then make this pattern around it. Gorgeous yeah yep. okay. thank you my lovely. Right so uh, I'm just using a small piece, but I obviously cut that piece out first of the shape that I wanted. Yes. But just for demonstration, because this is the only bit that we're doing, we're just going to use uh, just a small piece for now. Okay, my darling. Okay, so we just, what you do is you'd, you'd work out your design, place it where you want it. So we're just going to go straight for the middle on, on this piece. So we're going to bring our needle through somewhere in the middle. All I've done is tied a, a basic overhand knot at the back. Yeah, don't worry about any threads at the back, so you all get covered up. And then we're just going to sew on. So it's just really basic. Bring that, bring your point right up to mm -hmm. where your threads come through, and come through that hole. And what I like to do is do around about maybe three stitches okay. on, each, on each end. Okay. And you just use—is it fire line you're using? Fire lovely? line, white fire line that I'm using okay. for this kit because uh, it tended to blend in, in with the beads a lot better and um, a size 10 beading needle. Okay, smash Okay, it. so I'd normally do three, but I'm just going to do two for now just to, to secure it. So it's come through right at the bottom as close, yep. as, close as possible as you, as you can and then through that hole. The drill hole in that Swarovski is very yeah. generous though, isn't yeah. it? Yes, they are fantastic. I have even popped two together in a previous kit and made a crystal back-to-back. Back. Oh, yeah. nice idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so once you've got your your uh, crystal secured, what we're going to do is, because we're going to add this pattern on afterwards, mm. we need to know how many seed beads are around the edge. Okay. And we're going to work in sections of four. So I have worked out the numbers. Okay, my lovely. You. Smashing. Okay, and what you need to do is, I'll tell you the numbers in a second, but we're going to come through just missing the tip. Okay, mm -hmm. because we want our pattern to sit evenly okay. around yeah. around the stone. Mm -hmm. So for the smaller stone, we will be adding uh, 35 beads in all. We'll be having 32 in sections of eight, and then a three at the top. Okay. okay. So, but I'll I'll show you as we go along. Thank you, lovely. Okay. So I'm going to add. I wouldn't normally add eight at a time, but I wanted to count and make sure I had the okay. right amount. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to work in groups of four, but we're going to add eight at a time because four okay. just seemed to take me forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. okay, so we're going to add eight of our size 11s, let it drop down, yeah. and then push them up as far as possible, so you can see where my threads come through there, yeah. almost at the top, but pushing them up, and then just drop straight through as close to your crystal as possible, and pull those in, okay. it's just a basic back stitch, so, and then we're going to come through underneath, next to the crystal, mm -hmm. but inside the beads, and about halfway up, and then we're mm -hmm. going to come back through the last four. Okay. Okay. And that's going to secure the centre section of that little section of beads. So just make sure they're all nice and yeah, sat pulls them nice and taut then, yeah. isn't it? Mm. So and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And then pop these around so that. You're right up to the cabochon. Yeah. I just want to say cabochon. No, well, that's, to be fair, yeah, it, yeah it, it's, it's the Swarovski, it's the yeah, crystal, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it is almost so, cabochon, I suppose, all, all isn't it? all the way around again, okay? So, and it's just the basic back stitch. Yeah. So, we're coming through again in the middle of that section, and then coming through those beads. Okay? Yep. Yeah. So, 
We'll just move on to the next section. All right, now, lovely. Okay? Yep. So once you've been all the way round, mm -hmm. like so. I love your prep. I, I love your prep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for the cuff, I didn't go. I didn't do an inner section, but for this one, I did because I just wanted to make it a bit more three D. Mm -hmm. So we're just popping under the line on the inside. I'll just mm -hmm. really quickly show you show you that because I know I have showed it a few times, but it's basically the same. But you just don't pull it quite as tight. So, and it doesn't matter how many you're counting okay. on these ones because you're not going to be adding anything to this, okay. this inner row. Okay, so you just pop in your beads on. Probably best to try and start right at the tip on, okay. this, on this section, then you know they're sitting nice and even. Okay, and just pushing them right up, and then you're coming down in the same point again mm -hmm. in between your crystal and your seed beads of the bottom row, pushing that through. But you don't want to pull it too tight because you don't want to disturb this row um, underneath. And then again, you're coming back up half, about halfway and through. And you're going to continue that the whole way around. Okay. Um, just for those of you, the fire line, the thread that Katie's using is on your screen. Graphics are on your screen. It's here for you as well. So if you don't have the fire line at home, um, it, is, it is pretty essential, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's my go-to either that or wildfire but mm. they're, they're both equal but working with enough. normal thread it just isn't going to cut yeah. it really is yeah, it because it some it, the weight of the pieces yeah, as the well. weight of the pieces you're nice and easy to thread and you can be safe and secure when you're doing mm. cb jewelry you don't want to use a, an inferior thread no no if it snaps it's it's, it's a lot of work. It's soul yeah. destroying. Oh. Absolutely soul destroying. Uh, details on your screen for it. The price will kick in in a minute. Please do make sure that you are checking out. It's seven ninety five. Okay, my lovely. Okay, and you always need to keep a good stock of thread. Yeah, you do say. indeed. And it when we get different took, colours yeah, as well. This necklace, my, my friends on Facebook will know, it took me about four weeks to finish because I ran out of black thread. Oh no! I was mortified. I was waiting to get some black thread. Oh no! Yeah. So I got it finished last week, hence me wearing it today. Yeah, it looks fantastic Thank though. You. Yeah, keep okay. some stash. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've got another yep. row on Lovely. top there, so we can see that. Mm. And they just sit, sit nicely around and you work your way around. And once you've gone all the way around on mm -hmm. both rows, follow it round. Yeah. And just make sure they're all sitting nice and neat. So you just follow your bead path all the way through mm -hmm. and make sure you're nice and neat. Okay. Lovely. Okay. It doesn't lose any of that really lovely sparkle of the Swarovski either though, does no, it? It doesn't hide no. it, doesn't sort of encase it. No, mm -mm -mm. not at all. So I haven't gone all the way around on this one because I wanted to tell you the numbers for, yes. for this larger this larger one. Okay, so I've added sections of eight and you can see I've, fit, I've started just below the tip and finished mm -hmm. just below the tip there. And on this one I have added... It will be 52 in all. Okay, smashing. Okay. Yep. So there's 48 on there now. I just need to add the last four. So it's one, two, <laughs> three, four. Okay. And then these should sit really nicely just against that top mm, there. Lovely. Okay. So what I would do is just come in right at the, where I started, mm -hmm. straight through. Now what you need to do is keep your eye on that last bead you added because mm -hmm. you're going to need that okay okay so and then i'm going to come through right at that tip and then come through those two like so okay and what, so that's going to neaten up and then i would go all the way around all the way through all the way, every bead all the way yep. through every bead to tie it up yep okay but i'm not going to do that for now because it's just threading through yep no, lovely that's smashing okay so when you've been all the way around what you need to do is come th through the last bead that you added so this one here the mm -hmm. last one of the four okay so you're going to come through that bead just that one so just through in there and what you need to do is start adding groups of five now so we're going to okay. add like little loops all okay. the way around yeah okay so i'm going to use the, the gold just in contrast so one two three four five and what you're going to do is from the bead you've just come through you're going to count three so one two three and go through the fourth okay and you're going to continue this all the way around and if we've counted everything right everything should line up and be neat and okay and symmetrical. okay okay so one two three four five you've come through this speed so we count one two three and four and through that fourth bead okay I'll do another couple one two three Four, five beads 
can see we're coming out of this bit yep. here. One, two, three, and through that fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see the pattern mm, building mm -hmm. up there, but it's not, not as neat as we, as we want it to be yet, but we're going to sort that out. I'll just add one more of those sections, and I'll show you how we're going to sort that out. So five beads, one, two, three, fourth, and come through. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so you would continue this yep, all, all the way around. Way. Yeah. And then when you come over that top, it, it should form a nice yep, bead. Lovely. On the smaller one, you still add your five beads, but you just use the three beads that you added on the top. Rather oh, than the I fourth. see, rather than the fourth. Yeah, yeah. just that the, the numbers didn't work out. Yeah. But as long mm -hmm. as you even each side and, and your odd bit is at the top, yes. it's still going to look symmetrical. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so once you've got to a stage where you've got all the way around, you're going to bring your thread through to the back and you can choose anywhere, anywhere to start working on it. Uh, what you need to do is just look at that central bead, that fifth yeah. bead, that, mm -hmm. sorry, the, the third bead in your, in your set of five. And you want to come through just somewhere underneath there. It doesn't have to be precise, mm -hmm. but all you're going to do is come through and catch that mid, that centre bead, which is why you add an even, uh, an odd number. So if you wanted bigger spikes, yeah, you'd need you could seven. add seven. Yeah. Yeah. So I've come through there and that's sort of pulled that taut. And we're going to set that one in place. So we're just going to come through the other side of that bead and set that one in place. So we've got a nice, so they're not going to yeah. sit and yeah. around. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on this one. So coming through near that. I love she's having the professional. Like, and we're just coming through. Oh, 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 oh stop. Stop. Oh, I'm, just, I'm really sorry. It's all right. It wasn't this one. It's all about. okay. <laughs> we, we don't want to drop the, the... As long as you didn't drop these ones, babe. No, yeah. I didn't. We're all no. right. We're just, that's okay. Sorry, Everybody, Casey. stand down. Sorry, guys. Back, <laughs> back, to, back to you, my lovely. Back to you. <laughs> oh, that would have been a catastrophe. It would have. Okay, where was I? It's all right. We were safe. We're all right. Okay, so I've come through there and back through. So that one's nice and secured down. So you're going to go through and secure every single one of these. So through that centre bead of your little loop that you added. And back down. Let's do that last one. I just literally just fluff. It's almost like fluffing out petals, yeah. isn't it? It's just yeah, you're creating just setting that setting them in place and making mm. sure they're not going to move and that they're all going to sit nice and evenly. So now I've done that, you can see the pattern a lot better. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. yeah. So on the uh, on the piece that I've used, I've used the clear, but I'm going to use a different bead just because you'll be able to see it better. Mm, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I don't want any knots. Okay, so what we're going to do is I just need to pop some of those out. My favourite. <laughs> so the gold iris. Lovely. Oh, look at the blue that you see in that. Beautiful. Yeah, they are gorgeous. Yeah. The colours are amazing on them, yeah. aren't they? So, I mean, I can see there's like, there's a pink, there's a yeah. green, there's a blue coming off yeah, there. There's that bright galvanised gold. That. Yeah, they're fantastic colour, aren't blues they? blues in that one when you roll them around. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Really lovely. In my top five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once you've gone all the way around, yep. you'll have this lovely pattern all the way around. And you could just leave it at that and bead. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to fill these little gaps as okay, well. Okay, my lovely. Yep. Okay, so what I did was I came through the bead, the bead yep. that we've just secured mm -hmm. down. And then all it is, is adding contrasting beads. So 111, one size 8 of whichever colour you want. I'm using the Muscat and the yep. Golden Iris. So adding three of those together and then through that next top bead. Oh, and lovely. Yeah. So, so using the different colours, mixing mm. them up, it, it does create sort of lovely different looks. Yeah, it's really looks. nice. Okay, so and then through that top bead again. And you, you could keep working on this and build it out. Mm, you could go mm -hmm. from this point to this point, add another loop. Yeah, of course. And, and layer work, and layer and really layer. work mm. out the whole design. Yeah, so I'll just add that last one. One, two, three. I see more designs in a kit like that yeah, coming up for you, Katie. <laughs> you should see the amount of kits I've got at home at the moment. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Are they all sea bead? Yeah. Well, the thing yeah. is, you're just too darn good at it, that's why. I'm just going to go back there because I actually missed a bead. Oh, I, ca okay. I can't leave it with, with a missed bead. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come back through 
I would not recommend using your needle to come through. It's probably epic. I got away with it there. I would always mm. unthread mm -hmm. your needle and uh, pull, pull it back. Yeah. But I was being a bit naughty there. So just to fill in that gap there. Yep. Yeah. I'll do it correctly this time. I'm always doing I have to go all the way back. Yeah. I can't leave one bead. Okay, so and you just fill in your pattern all the way around, yeah. and like I say, you can expand that and, and go further it's and lovely. further out with it. Yeah, that's a nice technique. Really, Rather really than just lovely. The straight beading around. Yeah, thank you, my lovely. Very, very much. They are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful pieces, and you're loving those seed beads as well, which is fantastic to see. Do make sure that you are checking out now. <laughs> this is coming up, and it is. The, the next opportunity, okay, the next opportunity. This is your big chance to get your hands on it before it sells out. And of course, don't forget in half an hour's time, we've got your fabulous fluorite leaf. This is a big deal in half an hour's time. Very, very excited about that. But next, let's your bead and go. Well, I don't think I've seen ever so many messages about um, a, a component or a sort of accessory for seed beads. Um, so many of you asking to get hold of this. So I've already poured one of the Delica pots into here, just to kind of show you. Um, it's not meant for an entire tube. It's meant for a portion of a tube or perhaps, you know, I mean, you've got six layers, so you've got plenty of space in there. Plenty, plenty. Um, so, this, I'm assuming, comes out, okay? So this is the, um, the handle, and you can see that it's got a screw end on the actual end of the handle here. Okay, so that goes through there and it brackets on to the base there. So if you wanted, you didn't, you know, you don't have to have all of those tiers on there, but you have got one, two, three, four, five, six tiers, two funnels. And of course, it's easy then, you just literally just insert the handle, twist that back up, lock it in place. And you've got your bead and go. Um, so in total, you've got 60 compartments, because there's 10 compartments on each, 10 compartments on each layer. So you've got 60 compartments, and then of course you've got your, uh, your funnels here, which we use earlier. Now, they are brilliant. I can understand why so many of you are like, yeah, this is fab, this is absolutely brilliant, this is. Uh, I'm not surprised at all. Now, um, we had people asking if they, oh, I don't know what to do about that. I'll put those in there then, shall I? <laughs> There's going to be a tube of Delica's miss, uh, missing half of them. So I'm just going to show you. We're going to pour it back into here now. So into the funnel. Perfect. I mean, it is such a great way of being able to cart your gorgeous seed beads around. Thank you, my love. It was the little mini Delica's, my lovely, right. that you're going to need to pop those back in. To put them back into the tube. <laughs> but it's like, go on, put it back in the tube. No, I'm going to make a mess. Okay. Thanks, though, love. <laughs> um, but we've got the two funnels and you've got the six trays. Um, what I would say to you is do make sure... I'm just going to... There we go. That's screwed in nice and tight now. You can see the base is there, so that's what it screws into, okay? 
screws into the base and then it's nice and secure now so again if, just make sure if you are carrying it around that that is nice and secure and it's not untwisted because the last thing you want is for the bottom of that to fall off and for anything to cascade anyway so just make sure that, that is screwed in nice and tight um, 0800 655 they haven't been on your screen since June since June. Now, Katie was saying she, it was on and gone. She missed out on it. Um, Becky and Kerry are saying it literally came into the building, went out of the building and was, we only took delivery of 99 of them. 99, that's all we've taken delivery. Back in, so basically sold out, haven't had them back in. We've now got them back in and we've only got 99. However, you can see how busy it is. We've now only got 59. Who can I say congratulations to, Beck, my lovely? 0800 655 Hello to Jennifer, to Matty, well done indeed to you. Um, hello to Penelope, collectors in the Highlands. Uh, Helen and Chris, Arlene, Carol, um, well done to Anne and Rachel and Jane and Steve. Um, and Joe, well done. And Debs and Paul. Hello to Bidders in Cardiff, Cheshire, Nottinghamshire, Gwyneth, Pembrokeshire. So many of you there. Now... This is from Carol, he says, Ray, the funnel actually sits on the pot in place of the lid so it can pour from the... Oh, does it? Oh, now even better now. Oh, it only does. Boom. That's even better, look at that. None of us knew that. None of us knew that. We didn't get that in the memo. Look at that. You just attach it, you take the little lid off. And the funnel attaches and you just tip it upside down back into the pot. Why didn't we, no, didn't none of us kind of go, ah. Oh. Tell us about the rabbit, jewelry maker. Uh, it's okay, it's fine. It's all okay. It's all okay. We're all right. Thank you for pointing that out to us. We're all a little bit dim. Uh, I know about five people have messaging going, the funnel's gone on the lid, Ray. The funnel's stick on. Thanks, guys. Thank you very, very much. This is a good question. I don't know if I'll be able to answer it, but uh, this is from Isabel. It says, are they just for sea beads or can they be used for chips and nuggets, please? Loving the show. Um, I would say, let me show you the depth of one of the pots. I think that's really important that you get a chance just to see the depth of one of the pots there. It's quite a shallow pot. I would say a little bit of chips and nuggets. I would say more, more chips than your nuggets. And I would say findings. Findings. Would findings yeah. would be okay, yeah. wouldn't or they? Smaller Swarovski. Smaller Swarovski, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got some lovely Swarovski coming up in the second kit, haven't we, as well? Yeah. But yeah, your smaller Swarovskis, uh, your smaller chips, and I would say your sort of your little um, two mil solid selling silver findings and that sort of thing. Your crimp beads and your <coughs> excuse me, your crimp covers. Those are the sorts of things I think that you could. They're not deep enough for things like rondelles i don't think okay maybe the very 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 small rondelles but perhaps not the larger size rondelles 14.95 on your screen now we only had 99 of them there are those of you that are multi-buying as well so take that into consideration but it does mean that when you get it home it is very, very easily accessible. It doesn't take up too much space either, does no, it? No, because everything's stacked. Yeah, through. you think about yeah. the, um, there was the sort of triangle, bl the black Velcro triangle yeah. tower, mm -hmm. and you slide the tubes in all the way through that black tower. Now, that, that tower takes up quite a bit of space. Very handy, but it takes up, if you haven't got yeah. a workspace, if you literally just go to the dining table to do your work when everybody else is, you know, busy doing their own thing and you get a little bit of a moment's peace in the house, that is going to be one of those yeah. things that doesn't take up too yeah, much like uh, space, isn't it? Great. Um, hi, Nina. Uh, do the trays come apart? How do we get to the bottom tray? Sorry, I had to step away and just got back to the PC. That's okay. That's fine. Let me go through it again for you. Not a problem. So, this here, Nina, is the handle. You unscrew it. Okay, it comes out. All of the trays all then come apart they're not it's not like you know when you're a kid and you've got to make sure you've got the right size at the bottom and then tear it up okay so get to the bottom tray and you've got this little star shape here in the base now that screws into the base there so that 
screws into that bit there. Okay, and that's how you'd get down to the bottom of the, uh, the tray base. But what's lovely is that that locks in place in the bottom, and you can see there, that locks in that base and it doesn't fall out. So you don't have to worry about you know, trying to find where you actually screw the actual handle in. So all of that all comes together and then it locks in place obviously with the uh, handle and there we go. Okay, it's quite a neutral colour as well isn't it? Yeah. Just blends in. Yeah, it blends in. You know, I if you don't would, want yeah. something bright to sort of store your stuff in, also means that you get a chance to see the proper colour of yeah. your beads isn't I'm it? I'm using each level for a different section of colours. Yeah. Like yeah. Separate your sections, take it to your craft fair with you. Somebody might love a necklace and love this, you know, this yeah, absolutely. Here, but want it in a different colour. Yes, say, totally. I can offer you this colour. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And we're going to be showing you how to do uh, that gorgeous necklace, of course, that Katie's wearing in the nine o'clock show. So please do make sure that you're staying tuned for that. Now, the final 20 are there. There's over 30 of you with it in your basket that hasn't checked out yet. Good luck, good luck. I don't think that's going to stand until the end of the show tonight. I think that will have been sold out. You've got 20 minutes until I can bring you this. After I've bought you this beauty, this is a sensational fluorite hand-carved leaf. The colours are exquisite. Look at that beautiful amount of green and purple and lavender absolutely huge as well it's a beauty that's coming up for us at eight o'clock now after eight o'clock after we've bought you tonight's must-have which is that gorgeous fluorite leaf we're going to be focusing on ruby and we've got some amazing deals on ruby we've still got some gorgeous Swarovski deals to come your way as well and of course our nine o'clock kit now obviously we saw some phenomenal jewelry from katie with our first kit let's just have a quick sneak peek at the jewellery and the colours in our second kit. Look at these gorgeous pieces of jewellery. They are beautiful. Wait until you see the bracelet. Now I know, this is what I mean about not being able to have enough time to focus on that, but that bracelet is fabulous, darling. Absolutely gorgeous. He said it was it was it was a bit of a labour of love that yeah, wasn't I'd it? Never, I'd never done that, that that design before, but yeah, it looks gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. That's coming up for us as well. Right, I have <laughs> black diamond colour cup chain. Um, it looks incredibly expensive. That, that the one thing that I will say is that it does look outstandingly expect expensive so this is a brass base with the platinum family rhodium on top of it and then of course you've got your Swarovski inside all those moments of the prong setting and that is the black diamond color that you're getting it's a 50 centimeter strand that you're getting and it is exceptional i don't even know that if in the studio light here it really shows off that sort of slate charcoal color that you're getting from the black diamond it's like looking at the most eye clean black diamond you could ever wish to look oh look at that mm. There's something about party season that screams yeah. at this, this amazing cup chain. Yeah, you know, on the road up to Christmas, you think about the run up to Christmas, whether it's, you know, just meet, maybe just meeting with friends for a catch up and stuff is hectic. It's a really busy time of year. You know, you've got so many commitments. It's nice to be able to just literally pop a beautiful piece of jewelry on and feel like a million dollars, depending whether it might be even a work stew. It might even be one of those work stew that you feel really obliged that you've got to go to. I'm not referring to this one, <laughs> not at all. But you really feel that you've got to go to. And then it's all down to the fact that just that last minute when you put that last spritz of perfume on and that last piece of jewellery before you head on out the door that you feel like a million dollars and you enjoy yourself. You know, it's that one of those moments and all that sparkle, how could you not? Oh, Amazing, isn't it? Stunning. Now we're going to take this at under £15 to £10.95. <laughs> £10.95 on your screen and they are big 
size Swarovskis. Now, obviously, we had the smaller size Swarovski for you earlier on. We were able to take that into £10 for you. These are bigger Swarovskis than you had, Lazm, and they're the black diamond colour, which are some of the most popular that we do for you. 0800-644-655, the number that you need to be dialing. It is spectacularly sparkly. So many moments of fire in those facets. It is, it is really nice, isn't it? The last one we had was very classy. It was that sort of that degrade flawless white diamond look that you get sort of on the wrist of an A-lister at the Oscars or something. This is that little bit more decadent. This is more, you know, your New York Met Gala Ball. You know, it's where that you get that little bit more edgy. That it's really seductive. It's got to be said. Ten ninety five on your screen. Do make sure that you are checking that out and confirming. You're getting fifth. 50 centimetres, 50 centimetres of it. Do make sure that you're checking out. Now, I have another Aurora Boreale. Oh, gosh, that is very... It's, it's like Mystic Topaz. It really is. It's got so many electric colours in it. A neon pink, a turquoise, a gold. Look at that. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. There's a party in this strand and you're all invited. 0800 You've got some amazing colour. Look at the pinks, look at the greens, look at the blues, look at all that golden sparkle. A 50 centimetre strand length that you're getting there. Absolutely amazing. And the Aurora Borealis colours that you're getting here are sensational, aren't they? They really are. You've got magentas coming through there. What would be, have you worked with much of the cup chain? I haven't worked with any of the cup chains. Haven't yet. you? I'm very jealous of those strands at the moment. Yeah. They I are spectacular, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, what would you be inclined to do, do you think, Katie? Because you haven't had a chance, to, and this is the thing, you know, obviously I've, I've seen a couple of them work, but it's always lovely to see yeah. what our different guest designers yeah, would do. I'd love to work them in some wire weaves, in, in bangles, and yeah, bra bracelets lovely. and things like that. But even just for a simple design, I'd just be using drops of them for yes. earrings. Yes. They yeah. do look incredibly expensive, don't they, as yeah. drops of earrings as well. Especially this time of year, you know, it is party season without a shadow of a doubt. You've got that time where you want to be up, glamming it up a little bit, lots of sparkle, lots of lovely Christmas lights everywhere, picking up the sparkle here, party time! <laughs> If you were back in the 1980s, apparently. <laughs> it's 1095 on your screen. Absolutely gorgeous. I do have to say, the sparkle factor in this is amazing. Look at that. You can see that without even going to the close-up, all those colours of the rainbow. Woohoo! Gorgeous. 1095 for that one. Huge reductions on these sites. Uh, the next one we have for you... The next one we have for you, um, yeah, it looks like yellow diamonds. Canary yellow diamonds, that's what this looks like. This is that amazing, look at this. Goodness me. You've got the most amazing, look at that! Goodness me! Huge sizes of bright canary yellow diamonds. Really beautiful bright canary colours. You know, you've got the most, um, look at, just look at that brightness. If you've ever seen canary yellow diamonds, naturally coloured by Mother Nature, they really do cause a bit of a stir. Because if you get something out of the ground that is this vivid, this vibrant, it's a fancy yellow diamond and it is, look at that. 50 centimetres. 
nice lovely sizes and please make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can under 10 pounds under 10 pounds i don't care what the music is you can play it anyway oh, i haven't lived this one for ages oh it's quite a good one Okay. It's a bit. It's a bit more now. It's a bit less eighties. Okay. <laughs> Nine ninety five on your screen. Colours amazing. Uh, we've got a message from Rachel in York. She says, "Hi. Could you break these up to use them individual beading thread? I'd like to put them with pearls." Now, yes, you can. Okay. So let me just show you. So if you can see, and you please do excuse my nails, Rachel, my lovely. So. You can just see the end of the cup chain here. Did you see that that little bit of metal just disappeared and fell away? So there it is again. Just, can you just see that little bit of metal there? And then if I just flick the Swarovski back, it disappears. Now the reason being, you can see all these links here. Can you see how I can push all of those together? So you can clip and snip in between the Swarovskis. Now I know Gemma Crow has also opened up the prongs and reset them that way by having the wire going through the base and so there's many 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 different ways in which you can incorporate them but i think do you know what i think would look amazing with pearls the uh, the black diamond ones as well as the yellow ones they look so striking let me just grab i've got the most amazing strand of pearls coming up for you in a little while let me grab the black diamonds look at those together that black diamond colour is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. They'd look a They'd little look bit decadent amazing. together, oh. wouldn't it? Rachel, I like that idea a lot, my lovely. Really like that idea. Definitely be able to do that. By snipping them, you get, and I'll just show you the end. So this is perfect, actually, because this one hasn't got that little bit of metal sticking out of it. So look at that. Can you see you've got that, just that little gap there? So the, the, the metals, that metal um, bridge, if you like, has been taken away already. So you've got, if you just snip this one away, you'll be left with that aperture on either side so that you could thread that easily then, couldn't very, you? Very easily, yeah. And add that with your pearls. I think that's a great idea. Love, love, love it. We have got a stunning amount of ruby coming your way very very soon lots of different style of strands of ruby we're going to be focusing on rubies at uh, rounds rondelles pear drops in fact let me show you the pear drops because they are pretty spectacular the color is wow They're a lovely tone, really lovely tone. The luster's amazing on them, isn't it? Uh, the colour is amazing. To die for, isn't it? Absolutely. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That is coming your way within the eight o'clock hour. It, we're only 10 minutes away from the fluorite hand-carved leaf as well. So please do make sure. Now, I don't know, I just wanted to, because we have bought you a lot of cup chain. This isn't cup chain. Okay, this is not cup chain. Have I got, yes I have, I've got some paper. I just want to use a, a white background. Okay, the reason being is that sometimes with a, with a black background, this red cyan looks incredibly dark, but it is a proper ruby red. Still not quite showing up, is it? Oh, there we go. Now that's better! Look at that gorgeous glow! Now, this is Siam Swarovski. Siam Swarovski bezel with a beautiful channel link and it's coming your way at, in the nine o'clock hour. Um, I know my mum would absolutely, as I'm just li literally looking at this right now and going, the glasses. Oh yeah. My mum would be yeah. absolutely over the moon. Yeah. They're so, some of them are really quite, the glasses chains that you can get, they're yeah. really quite ugly. Yeah, they're, they're just more, more with cord yeah. or they're yeah. you know, really quite boring. That would be lovely. She'd love that. Absolutely love that. Um, right. We're going to move on. We've got lots to squeeze in for you. Let's go to 
some gorgeous blues. Back to your gemstones for you now. We've got some lovely sky blues and regal blues. These look like little miniature planets from a distance. They're amazing. 180 carats of lapis lazuli plain rounds, eight millimeters on a 38 centimeter strand, 180 carats of lapis lazuli. And they are really striking. They are unenhanced. They have not been dyed. And they've got the most gorgeous depth of colour to them. They really, really have. They've got a vibrancy, they've got a vividness, and they've got a regal, gorgeous colour. 180 carats of lapis lazuli plain rounds at 6 .95. Now, I know that we do amazing deals for you on your man-made seed beads. I know, on your man-made Swarovskis. But when we do deals like this, it's because we go back to our roots, back to our genuine gemstone roots, because that's all really that we used to focus on for so many years. I know we've evolved, and don't get me wrong, I love that we have, but I do also love the fact that our roots are firmly planted in genuine gemstones, and that we can do it for you at a deal like this at 6 95 it's a bold, brave blue colour to wear. I think that when you wear lapis lazuli, it's a very strong, regal, uh, sort of uh, sort of head-turning colour. So it's got to be one of those ones where you do need to kind of think to yourself, ah, right, okay, I'm wearing something bold, I'm wearing something beautiful, I'm wearing that beautiful blue colour. There's going to be lots and lots of, lots of people looking at my jewellery. Yeah, there is, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt. And it's such an easy size and shape to work with, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect for your stretches. But also, if you wanted to work it into some wire work, yeah. maybe work it into a nice big chunky wire work yeah, bangle lovely. or something, really show it off. Mm. I like to put it with silver. I know most people go for gold. But I like, I like yeah. the pop of the, that beautiful blue. Yeah, next to the, the I think, to be honest, silver. I think that... Um, whether it's silver, yellow gold, or rose gold, lapis works. It yeah. just depends what kind of uh, look, whether you want a splash, or whether you want something exotic, yeah. or whether you want something really contrasting. And the lovely thing is, isn't it, is that we've got, we have all of those different colour findings to offer, which is great. I love that one. Love that one. Well done indeed. Um, yeah, I have got some emerald. These are a really good colour, really good colour, very vibrant, that's really pleasing actually. Sometimes our gorgeous emerald, sometimes, don't get me wrong, it's lovely to even have a strand of emerald, but look how vibrant that is from Brazil. Sometimes Brazilian emerald can have a little bit of a greyish tone to it. That's nice and bright, that isn't is it? A, that's, that's your emerald city. Emerald green, isn't it, to me? That's what I Definitely. Think, yeah. I suppose if, you, if you're investing any sort of emerald, you want it to have that little vividness of colour, yeah. don't you? It's lovely. Really, I love the fact that we've got the spearmints all, all the way through to the forest greens. Really, really do. Nice sizes here as well. A 16 centimetre strand, two to five millimetres on the graduation. Really lovely colours. But you can see silks, Shutdowns, and that's okay, that's fine, because it's allowed to have those in it. Itabira, Brazil, 7 95 I think that because the colour's so vibrant, that is an amazing quality strand for 7 95 We shouldn't get blasé or complacent about the fact that we've got great colour emerald here, and it is. Real emerald with great colour from Brazil, seven ninety five. I'm going to try and squeeze a couple more in for you very, very quickly. So let's delve into your last stock, very, very, very last of stock on these, like the last 20 packs. <clears throat> Have a look at these. We've got your lovely hot pink hearts. They are proper hot pinks as well, aren't they? So much sparkle. So you're getting a pack of six Swarovski hearts. They're a 6.6 .6 millimeter. Very, very, very candy pink. And you're getting a pack of six on your screen. Now the price is gonna come in for you. We do wanna squeeze in a couple more for you before that. So 3.95, 3.95 on your screen. 
They're a lovely hot pink colour, aren't they? They are. They're perfect. Valentine's, really aren't they? lovely. They were miles away from it, but Valentine's. No, abs I think yeah. so, absolutely. Or if you're thinking just set of, yeah. a single one in some Ceralune. Yeah, it would look great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Really, really, really vibrant and vivid. Three ninety-five on your screen. Gonna crack on and just do our little flower charms for you. So these are these are so pretty. They really, really are pretty. There they are, there we are. Um, so, we're getting three in the pack. Mm. These are your rose gold charms. So you've got your connector point, and then you've got, and I'm just gonna show you very, very quickly, you've got that lovely lotus flower effect. They are brushed on the inside, satin finish on the outside, beautiful two-tone texture for the rose gold. Very, very, very pretty. So incredibly versatile. You could just literally have one as a pendant too, and then of course you've got a pair of earrings or pop them onto stretchy bracelets that you're making just to add that beautiful precious metal value that you're getting there. All of them there, $9.95 on your screen. $9.95. They're such a lovely, lovely rose gold colour as well. They really are very, very, very pretty. Please do make sure that you're checking your, line, uh, checking your baskets out, of course, and that needs to be on the phone lines, on the web, and on the app. Now, 8 o'clock, what happens at 8 o'clock? We bring you tonight's must-have. Now, we're bringing it to you half an hour earlier tonight. Half an hour earlier because we've got a ruby, sh a gorgeous ruby showcase coming your way. Really excited about bringing you so many different varieties of ruby. So please make sure that you're joining us for that. And of course, nine o'clock, we will have our second kit with Katie. It's vibrant, it's vivid, it's called Rainbow Bright for a reason. And so many of you have been asking about Katie's own necklace. And we're gonna be seeing that technique, that design, that weave, in the nine o'clock incredible demo. So do make sure you're jo joining us for that. We've got fluorite first and loads of ruby before then though. So make sure you join us literally on the other side of this. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewellery Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs.
You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Uh, welcome back. It is lovely to have your company. Welcome to tonight's Late Show. Thank you if you've joined us already. We are into the third hour and it's a big one. It's a big hour. Um, we have got for you tonight's must-have. Let's kick it off because I know that... Now, normally the must-have is at half past eight, but we've got a ruby focus coming up. Um, but before we get to ruby, let's bring you fluorite. And let's bring you the most gorgeous, gorgeous colours. The greens, the purples, the pinks, those beautiful zebra stripes that you are getting through here. It's absolutely huge. This is 70 by 40 me uh, millimetres. Absolutely beautiful. Now, what I would like to do, and I'm going to do it, quite frankly, because I can, is, is I'm going to get a torch. And I'm going to use the one on my phone because it's just really easy to just grab. But I just wanted to bring a little bit of light behind this because it just means that you get a chance to see those, oh, look at those colours. There's a blue in there, there's a teal green. There is a purple. Now, because I've got a black top on, as soon as I block the light from the, uh, the studio behind me, in fact, the light behind me is not even on. Oh, there we go. That would explain. That's a, So if I just, even if I hold this over here, it just gives you a chance to see a little bit more of why fluorite is quite spectacular. Look at that beautiful colour, the striping, the banding of colour that you get. The purples, the greens, the pinks that you're getting. You can also see how you've got moments of diaphanity coming through there as well. You can also see the fronds of that beautiful, almost feather-like leaf. It is beautiful, beautiful look. I love how it's almost heart-shaped and almost angel wing shaped as well. Really, really beautiful. Now, out of the studio lights and in your um, in the light box uh, in the studio that we have, you can see it's a little bit more where you get a chance to see the way that the pattern runs. The reason I wanted to show you the light, though, imagine, because if you will, fluorite fluoresces in sunlight, in UV light. So what you get is, and I'll just show you, there is a drill hole, and I'm just going to show it where it is. It's just here at the top. So you'd be able to fit a uh, jump ring through there or a very simple pinch bail from wire, of course. But what you've got is a really big look. Now, I'm just going to take this, and I know it's going to be very, very difficult for you to see. So if I just put a little bit of skin tone behind there, I just want to kind of give you the idea of the size of this on a long length chain, perhaps. Maybe you're going to ignore the, uh, maybe you're going to ignore the drill hole completely and you are going to put that maybe in some wire wrapping, perhaps you're going to be exposing that maybe, uh, maybe with a little bit of your uh, shibori, for example, to complement it. The one thing you can guarantee is that you have got a huge hand-carved beautiful floor. It's lovely, isn't it? It reminds me almost angel wing. Yeah, you could use it like that, definitely. It's beautiful. What would you be tempted... <laughs> I mean, for me, I'm tempted to stay simple, but your techniques and your talents, yeah. you might want to do something a little bit more. For myself, I would keep it simple. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you, you could make a lovely wire work frame around mm. it, bezel set it, yeah. maybe. Yeah, you could seed bead around it. Some of the colours in the kits that we've had today. Oh, yeah, definitely. Beautiful, beautiful mm -mm. bezels around it. Mm. 
Yeah, no, no there's, there's lots you can do with it. You could just set it into some wire work and maybe sort of a, I'm thinking like a foresty kind mm, of definitely. Like mystical forest, yeah. like, like the myths and legends sort of thing. Yes, sort of that thing we had the other day, some yeah. Wire work, yeah. Mm, lovely idea. It's also incredibly tactile. It's one of those um, gemstones that a lot of our guest designers um, and a lot of our customers say that they love to be able to have in their home as well because they love the sort of energy and the feeling that they get from a fluorite. This is 130 carats. Now it says purple fluorite. Now that does mean that you are going to get lilacs, lavenders, amethyst tones in there, teals, you're going to get blues, but there are so many. The wonderful thing about it is it's natural. It's not enhanced, so you're guaranteed to have natural nuances of colour travelling through that fluorite. Um, it is a lovely size. I just want to show you the undulation as well, just the attention to detail here have a look you can just see look at that that beautiful carving that flow and the smoothness of that that's a proper 3d beautiful shape now this is guaranteed tonight for everybody who's already got it thank you guaranteed under 10 pounds and I don't just mean by one penny it's 8.95 for you tonight Eight ninety five. How amazing is that, that, though? That's a mad price for that size, isn't it? It's, it's huge. It's beautiful. and the hand carving. Yeah. You know, if that yeah. was maybe just sort of a, a fancy yeah. sort of almost. Um, you know, sometimes we do the strands of labradorite and they are a little bit linear and they're a little bit sort of fancy shape, yeah. but they haven't been sort of cut no. into any sort of shape specifically. If you had something like that, you could kind of understand maybe the £10 price, but when it's yeah. been formed and shaped specifically and carved specifically and polished specifically, that's really exciting. So many of you there. 0800 644 655. Uh, this is from Jane. Got mine. Suncatcher. Ah, Jane. Great idea. So, Suncatcher, um, it's, it's when you've got, so this is what lovely, so Kath made me, Kath from Pembrokeshire made me a beautiful Labradorite um, Suncatcher and it's hanging up in the gym at home um, with lots of like wire work and beautiful Labradorites hanging down. And when the light comes through the window in the gym, it literally just sparkles and comes alive. It's amazing. Jane, I totally and utterly get what you mean by using the fluorite in a sun catcher. Definitely. So many of you there as well. Lovely to see you tonight. Lots of multi buying as well, which is gorgeous. Tonight's must have. It's great to see. Were you thinking maybe fourteen ninety five? Were you thinking sort of around about the fifteen pound? That's. I, to be fair, I was for thinking that, fifteen. For that size, the quality, the carving. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Gorgeous. Really looking forward to seeing what you're going to be doing with this. Hello, Anne and Sue and Carol and Patricia. Hello, collectors in my neck of the woods, uh, Rachel and Joanne and Jeanette and Mary and Edwina, in, uh, Jill in Falkirk, Jill in Yorkshire, Ruth in East Sussex, Lynn, Violet, Anne, Carmel, Jane, Anne, Susan, multi-buying, Karen and Wrexham, anonymous collectors, well done in DT. Really lovely to have your company tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm so delighted that you love this beautiful fluorite as much as we do. It is gorgeous. It really, really is. It's going to be with you in about three to four working days. So you're looking at about three, three to four working days to take delivery of this. Um, speak to the call centre about when it will actually get delivered. But you're only paying two ninety five for the entire day's postage and packaging. And your 30-day money-back guarantee starts from, of course, the day that you take delivery of all of your goodies from us here at JM. Um, there's a two-minute wait on the phone lines. It's really busy. I am so sorry about that, but the good news is that that is a free phone number from a UK landline. Free, and, and to some mobiles as well, if your provider, of course, uh, allows it. So it is a free number to call from a UK landline. That's 0800 655. Um, we're just asking you to hold the line. We actually then pay for your call. You don't pay anything for that phone call. 0800 644 655. Can I ask you all to hold those lines? There's so many of you waiting to be answered. Good luck. Stay where you are. Hold the lines. Well, if we get a chance to revisit that, we will do, just to make sure that you're all checking out. Right. Now, we've got for you um, a whole host of ruby coming up for you. Um, different shapes, different sizes, different textures. Um, you'll see what I mean when I say that in a minute. Um, but we're going to start with... Yes, 
your rough and I've got to say they are like tumbled nuggets they are graduated though look at that now they are a really deep cherry red Ruby as we know throughout history has been an amazing amazing gemstone to own um, it's a gemstone that has been fought over it's a gemstone that has been searched for it's a gemstone that is uh, very 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 widely well, desired basically this comes to you from Ratnapuri in India you're looking at natural unenhanced black cherry and deep cherry colors it's all natural all unenhanced and it's all been beautifully graduated for you on the strand. Look how gloss, they look good enough to eat. My goodness me, pop them in a cocktail and we're good to go. Don't eat them. Obviously, that would chip a tooth. Uh, that is your ruby that you're getting there on your screen at 95 carats. Now, um, just going to give you a bit of a heads up. So, this is going to be the most affordable ruby strand of the entire focus. So this strand is going to be the most affordable and it's also some of the largest. We're going to start at the lowest price point and we're going to crawl up to our most expensive ruby in this focus. So this will be the most, most affordable. It's going way under £10 and £5.95. Now it's really nice, these are centre drilled, which is really unusual. Normally, your uh, sort of nuggets like this, they would be top drilled. And yet these are, as you can see for yourself there, centre drilled travelling through that strand, which gives a whole different option to work with them. Wire through the centre, wire wrap as a beautiful cabochon maybe almost. Use it as a ring, maybe one of those large rubies. Organic, beautiful and all unenhanced and natural. Now when I say organic, I mean in the shape, in the form. It's that lovely free form tumble that you're getting in that medium nugget. Five ninety five. I can't get over that recording. They do look good enough to <laughs> eat, do. don't they? They do look scrumptious. Delicious colours. Don't eat them. It's a very durable gemstone, really, really durable gemstone. $5.95 on your screen to work for your ruby. Now the next that I have is a very different appearance in ruby. Very different appearance. This is basically how you would imagine finding ruby in the alluvial mine. Not a polish, not a tumble, not a buff in sight. So these are matte finished. So what that means is they just haven't been buffed, they haven't been polished. So you know the strand that we just saw, had they not been buffed and polished, they would look like this. Now, this gives you a chance to work with ruby almost as they would appear in the rough. Now, this is natural, it is unenhanced. I'm going to anticipate that it comes to you from either Madagascar or from Mozambique because that is where we source our African ruby. Now, again, very different way of working with your ruby, different way of looking at your ruby. And a chance for you to get hold of 95 carats again, but you can see all those mottled mulberry tones. 17 centimeter strand, five by three, 14 by six, at 595 again for you to be able to get hold of your ruby and again thinking about prong setting pieces thinking about getting all of those gorgeous moments where you could maybe wire wrap that into a ring lots and lots of <coughs> excuse me different ways of being able to work with your uh, almost like ruby in the rough speaking of ruby in the rough i have that for you next Now again, we're staying 
with that matte rough finish on the ruby and it does give a totally different way of working with ruby and maybe gents jewelry really will lend itself beautifully to uh, working with your uh, your sort of mottled i would say sort of almost black cherry color coming through mulberry tones winter berry tones 17 centimeter strand three by two to 13 by four millimeters now again, another way of just seeing ruby very differently, but you need to kind of think about how the alluvial miners see this within the Ilam level mines. So you're thinking about that alluvial mine, you're thinking about how they sift through the, uh, the riverbeds and how they're searching through pebbles and limestone and everything else that flows through those shallow rivers And how you'd be sifting through that with the sieve and then finding that deep purple colour. 110 carats of graduated ruby rough, 3 by 2 to 13 by 4, 17 centimetre strand, 8.95. 8.95 on your screen. Now, I have got ruby in a totally different guise and different setting coming up for you. Again, it's all about giving you options and being able to show you how Ruby can eventually look once it's cut and faceted and brought to life. You wouldn't necessarily think Ruby could be as sensational, as beautiful, would you, if you were just looking. It's not that there's anything wrong with seeing it in the rough and seeing those mulberry tones. But it is nice to see that luster coming from a ruby, isn't it? That's what we've kind of fallen in love with. So we're going to move on then to mixed corundum. Now, I say mixed corundum because what you've got is ruby on here with your clear corundum, your colourless corundum, what we would call white sapphire. So you've got white sapphire in the centre, then you've got the gorgeous reds graduating into some really deep tones and then you've got more white sapphire just at the either end of the um, strands. 18 carats of graduated shaded ruby including white sapphire and it absolutely is. If it's red in the corundum family it's ruby. If it's any other colour other than red it is sapphire. And you've got an entire strand there, 18 carats, 0800 655 in one of our most traditional of gorgeous rondelle strands, faceted rondelles. Think of the history of your ruby. Think about working with ruby. How do you want to see ruby in your collection? How do you want to see ruby in your jewellery? Can you get it into your collection at 11.95? Absolutely. Absolutely. Plus a little bit of cheeky luster there as well. 0800 644 655. Number that you need to be dialing and confirming on if you want to get hold of these. Uh, normally £21 are all the way down to 11 95 Do make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can. Yes, that faceted pear drop ruby is coming up and you should see some of the rounds that we've got for you. We're going to bring you a brand new strand of ruby next. Brand new strand. You've got some really lovely, deep, lustrous rubies here. Thirty-five carats of ruby, uh, two by one to five by three millimeters in a sixteen centimeter strand. Brand new. Now you can see as we go up the scale for quality in appearance of your ruby, it's still natural, it's still unenhanced, it's Ratnapuri Indian ruby, so it's got that real deeper colour, but there's a lot of lustre coming off that strand, isn't there? There is, there's a beautiful sparkle. Yeah. There is something about ruby, I think, when we get a chance to work with it. It's one of those gemstones that I think some of us believe that we'll never own. True. 
and then you've got a whole 35 carats of it. Have you had much ruby at all in any of our kits that you've ever worked I've had, with? I've had some ruby, and you always, you always kind of take ruby in because it's one of those big five. Yeah. You kind of take it, and you sit down, and you think about it. Yeah, a absolutely. More. Yeah. It's a little bit more respect for it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah I enjoy working with ruby. Yeah. It's, one, it's, a, it's such a durable gemstone as well, yeah. though, so you don't need to be over delicate with it you don't no, have to because no. it is really yeah. high up on it's the most great scale to work with your wire with mm, it yeah take definitely all, all the wires and the, the structure around it yeah really well. definitely you can see that luster it's really enticing uh, 16 centimeter strand here for you we are creeping up in price as we're going through the hour i did say the very very first strand would be the most affordable 12.95 brand new strand of ruby magentas and crimsons and scarlets beautiful colors all there for you 35 carats brand new strand graduating from two to five millimeters in size on the strand and all that lovely luster and it is a lovely luster you can see that yourself really really inviting 12.95 as all you're paying and again it's all graduated for you so literally all you would need to do is you could just re-strand and you're good to go there is enough there to make a full ruby bracelet with a really lovely clasp as a gift for somebody the gift of re and again please by all means grab our certificate of authenticity and speak to the call centre and say that you'd like to pay the extra 25 pence for it or indeed if you do buy it and then you go to the website and you type in your details you can then of course print off the certificate of authenticity but absolutely tell the person that you're gifting that bracelet to that they own real ruby or of course the person that you are of course, you know you're selling it to at your craft store it's gorgeous well well done indeed if you're getting hold of that one that was number 13 we're dipping into number four next now again another different way of seeing ruby very glossy very very glossy indeed mass i can't even imagine what the carrot weight is for the center ruby alone 110 carats of corundum. 10 by 5, 17 by 11 on the graduation. And I mean, again, just a pinch bale in the top of one of those on a neckline piece, on a long line chain, you have got a weighty, weighty ruby as a pendant. 110 carats in total. Now, again, they are very, very glossy. You can see they've been buffed, they've been polished. And because they're really high up on the most scale, so diamond is the hardest at number 10. And then your corundum, your sapphire and your ruby underneath your diamonds. So second hardest family of gemstones that you can possibly get your hands on. And that means that it takes a really good diamond polish a really high grade diamond polish to buff that gloss and they are proper glossy aren't they price tonight for you is going to kick in on 0800 655 15.95 on your screen 15.95 and a massive carat rate 110 carats of your ruby and again an enhanced and natural this time from either Madagascar or Mozambique which is where we tend to source our gorgeous ruby from when it's from Africa do make sure that you're holding those lines 15.95 they are lovely say that again my lovely yeah of course we can yeah so we've had a message saying can we open up the seed beads for Katie's jewelry yes of course uh, don't suppose we can have the seed bead kit on pre-order please 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 <laughs> course we can let's show Katie's jewelry while I'm just sliding this over here then so we've got um, an amazing well Katie's made an amazing uh, bracelet and necklace they, the colors are amazing they are amazing have a look at the necklace of course as well because we're going to be seeing the necklace in the demo and that is the weave of the neckline piece that Katie's wearing in the, um, oh, what was it called? Uh, the twist, Twisted Herringbone. Twisted Herringbone, yeah. what was your bead called? Oh, that was the Golden Iris. The Golden Iris, thank you. I was thinking it was the, um, the galvanised. I was like, it's not, it's not, it's not. Um, so that's all coming up for us at nine o'clock. Let's open up for pre-order. 
all of these. You've got six beautiful packs of seed beads coming your way and available for pre-order now. You can do that on the web and on the phone lines. Oh, stay there. Right, we're going to move on back to our rubies. Now, again, a very similar look to what we last saw. You've got a beautiful drop rice bead. 115 carats, 7 by 3 to 15 by 7. Now, you can see straight away that there are cascade earrings to be made here. There are beautiful moments of big rice bead, and they are big rice grain shape, aren't they? Coming to you from Africa as well. Oh, is this wrong? Oh, no, it is right. Sorry, my darling. Okay, sorry, sweetheart, I misunderstood. Um, so you're getting all that colour. Now, imagine, if you will, a sort of fringe-style necklace with that already graduated for you using maybe your, I don't know, maybe you want to be using your uh, silver spaces in between there, even yellow gold spaces. Yellow gold with that colour, that depth oh, and that richness yeah. would be quite striking, yeah, it would wouldn't just, it? it? would just add to it and really bring that colour mm. out. But if I was going to use them, I would probably make them into flowers. Lovely I'd idea. Love to see it, like a beautiful ruby brooch. Oh, that would be a really lovely idea. The gold beads, mm. maybe in with them. Great. That would be a really nice idea. I'm going to grab the gold seed beads that we had in one of the seed bead bundles earlier, just to kind of show you. Yeah, they would look lovely. Yeah. Really nice idea. And they do work well with petals because of where the drill hole is as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so mm. you could really make a beautiful wire work and maybe frame it underneath with another wire work um, nice flower idea. underneath. So lovely. So kind of sat in the middle. Especially this time of year, brooches are, it's just that time of year, isn't it, where you've got, um, and it's supposed to be getting really cold in the UK this weekend. It's supposed to be going down to minus five, apparently. So wrap up. It is. Honestly. They're not, ha they're not happy. They're not happy in the gallery. They're like, pardon? Apparently, yeah. It's supposed to be going down to minus five. This. Anyway, you're thinking about wrapping up. Big cardigans, big jumpers, scarves. Lovely brooch idea. I like yeah. that idea a lot. Just something to sort of hold it all in place, but with a little bit of bling. Yeah. Mm, lovely idea. Uh, do make sure that you want... Well, Ben's fuming about it getting cold, you know, because it's only November on, uh, on Wednesday. 17.95 on your screen. I shouldn't laugh at you, Ben, but you do make me laugh. 0800 644 655. We're at 17.95 on your screen. They are glossy, they are deeply saturated, and they are totally and utterly natural. I like that idea with Katie saying about those, those flowers, don't you? Really lovely idea. Make sure you're checking out on those. Good luck indeed. We're going to move on then to number eight. Now that's a lovely colour, isn't it? It's a brighter red. We're getting closer to what we all recognise as ruby. I love the fact that we can offer you all the different varieties and different textures of ruby. I love that we can do that at different price points. But I also love the fact that we can start to bring you what we textbooks start to think of when we start thinking about ruby. This is still natural. This is still unenhanced. It still comes to you from either Madagascar or Mozambique. And 26 carats of ruby. Now there's a slight graduation in the shade of colour, in the tone of colour. A little bit of a different, but in the main, they are a really lovely cherry colour. Make sure that you're checking out and confirming, won't you? 70, oh, it says 30.95. That's not the price that you're paying tonight. You're going down to 17.95. 17.95 on your screen. An 18 centimetre strand, two by four millimetres. And again, this is where we start having to think about being able to use these beautiful rubies, almost as little punctuations of colour, maybe as holly berries on the run up oh, to Christmas. Yeah. That sort of look. 
you've got those little hollyberry reds coming all the way through that strand. $17.95 on your screen. Do make sure that you are checking out and confirming. Slight graduation there, two to four millimetres. Um, hold those lines, won't you? Next. Mm. Now, this is definitely graduated and shaded ruby. You've got some of the darkest, almost black cherry colours in the centre, scooping out to pinks of, and, I would, and I'm going to be very controversial here and say, in my opinion, you're looking at rubies, pink sapphire and white sapphire in this strand. When you start seeing those pinks, it's no longer ruby. It's no longer ruby. It is pink sapphire or purple sapphire. So those deep, deep, deep dark reds in the centre, they'd be classed as ruby and corundum. And then the pinks and the clear whites would be classed as sapphire. So you've got a mixed sapphire and ruby strand here. 2 by one to 4 by 2 mil on an 18 centimetre strand. It is time to make sure that you are jumping on and checking out. 0800 644 655. 37 95 shoulda, woulda, coulda. Not tonight for you. Gonna drop that price. All natural, natural sapphire and ruby for 24.95. And the lustre. Did you see it? It's fab, isn't it? 24. 95. Do make sure that you're checking out and confirming as soon as you can. We've got a very cheeky star buy coming your way next. 0800 644 655. Number that you need to be dialing. Not only have we graduated that strand in size for you, but also in the tone and saturation and separating out ruby, pink sapphire, white sapphire, ruby. That's really important. It, I know it doesn't say that on your certificate of authenticity, but believe me, those pinks and those whites, they're sapphires, not ruby. Good luck if you got a hold of that one. Next, we have got for you a fabulous star buy. <laughs> Did I not want to play, Ben? Oh, okay. Have a look at this. Delayed music. We love it. We love it. We. we Live TV. Um, right. We've seen this a couple of times already tonight. And now we're talking Ruby, aren't we? We're talking about what we conjure in our minds when we think of Ruby. Historically, we start thinking about what the likes of Dame Elizabeth Taylor had desired in a beautiful piece of jewellery, how, you know, kings and queens of days gone by have, you know, loved this gemstone and revered this gemstone and is one of the most expensive gemstones on the planet to buy. I really encourage you, if there is a strand of ruby for you to get hold of tonight, it's going to be this strand. The reason I say this is because if you're looking at this ruby, and if on your screen it said Fisher filled, or it said dyed or heat treated, um, I could understand the price. The fact is, we are seeing pear drop bright pinkish reds with no Fisher filling, no heat treatment and no diffusion, which makes these rubies unenhanced and absolutely 100% natural. Now, this is what traditionally we think more about when it comes to ruby, isn't it, Katie? It's, it's that ideal ruby colour that mm. we see there. They are beautiful. Absolutely it's, look, beautiful. I mean, the luster, the yeah. colour that we're getting as well. Yeah, there's a little silk, there's a little jardin in there, but that just shows me that we haven't carved that out and then filled it, which is really nice. And don't get me wrong, if, if we do see Fisher filling in ruby, it's industry standard. It's industry standard. It's not that it's done, you know, um, just, you know, here, there, in uh, maybe, you know, just a few places. It's done everywhere. This is your chance to get an enhanced natural ruby. It is a cracking strand. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Eight centimetre, nine by six to five by four, 35.95. 
you're getting groups of ruby here that would make the most perfect pendant and matching pair of earrings. Yeah. That's why I would go keep it really They're grouped simple, together. Really classic. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it's doing all the hard work it kind of, I think that you've, Katie's used just the exact right word then because you have just said classic. Yeah. And it is a classic gemstone, isn't it? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely that we can have a, an, 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 you know, a, a main unakite that we had for you earlier in the cabochon and it's great that we can do sort of the more sort of unknown uh, stones. But when you do ruby, you kind of have to, it's great that we can show you all those different variations of ruby, but when you can do ruby like this, and enhance and natural for 35 95 under a hundred pounds, I think that's amazing. Yeah, for me, they would be earring and independent sets. They've kind of been grouped together perfect, yeah. perfectly yeah. for that, haven't they? One, those groups of three. The luster is wonderful. 35.95 on your screen. Oh, 0800 655. They're top drilled. I'm just going to hold the strand out for you so you can see. They're all top drilled. And you can see this is what Katie and I are talking about because they've been grouped in threes so that they're matching. And it just means, you can see here, slightly larger pair of earrings, slightly larger pair of earrings, slightly larger pair of earrings, all the way through that strand. It literally has been set up for you, ready to go in that classic way that Katie was just talking about. Do make sure that you're checking out and confirming as soon as you can there, won't you? It's one shipping and handling charge for the entire day. And of course, let's not forget as well, 30, 30 day money back guarantee. Make sure you're holding those lines. Well, well done indeed. They are gorgeous. They really, really are. I'm gonna move on to three more strands left to bring you of Ruby and that's it. Graduated perfect round. When do we ever, ever see Ruby like this? When do we ever see Ruby in rounds like that? Looking as perfect, as beautiful as they are. You've got the most amazing graduation. You've got the most incredible cherry red color. Now, these are Fisher filled, and that's industry standard. You can absolutely do that to get that perfect round, to make sure there's no fractures, to make sure that there's no hairline fractures running through there. We've been able to eliminate those through that Fisher filling. 50 carats. Eighteen centimeters there. Just make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can. Should be 136.95. Let's reduce that price tag for you. Oh, 0800 655. Make sure that you are holding the line. 79.95 on your screen. They are really delicious in their colour. It has to be said, they are cracking in their colour. Oh, 0800. 644-655, again, owning a strand of one of the world's most revered and sought after gemstone. But yet they are the very, very, very last of stock. Very, very, very last of stock. So please do make sure that you are holding those lines and talking to the call center. Wonderful way to work with gemstones. Let's move on then to our penultimate. Good gracious me. They need their own postcode. What? Goodness gracious me. That is a seven millimeter to 20, that's a seven millimeter round. I'm, that's not a seven millimeter round. Um, I think 11 and 12 might have been mixed up. So what am I doing now? Number, right, there we go, that's okay. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say, that's not a seven millimeter, that's like, 
a whole planet. <laughs> it's huge. Um, we're going to bring you this strand, and this is the penultimate strand. 70 carats, three, that makes more sense, three to seven millimetres, doesn't it? <laughs> very, very bright. We've got here seven millimetres all the way down to three, bright, bright reds. Seventy carats. Let me explain to you again what Fisher filled means. F Fisher filling on a ruby. This is the last strand in this strand. The only strands that you've seen it so far. It means that with the corundum family, there are hairline fractures that run through the corundum family. That's your sapphire and your ruby. So those hairline fractures mean that the gemstone is then unstable. So basically what we do, industry standard, and it's throughout the world, it's a technique known as fissure filling. And then you apply that fish, that basically, uh, whether it, it could be glass, it could be um, a composite, it could be a resin, it could be a polymer, and you infuse that into the fissure, uh, sort of the um, hairline fractures into the ruby, and then it makes the ruby solid and stable. So an interest, it's a very, very sort of intricate and difficult process to achieve, but nevertheless, when you get these sorts of shapes of your ruby, it means that they are a little bit more stable. Should be 180 pounds and 95 pence. We are going to make sure that that price comes down for you tonight. 0800 644 655. Reduction tonight for you on your rubies to 103.95. Now that will be the most considered strand of the entire evening. That will be the most considered strand. 103.95 on your screen. Now that next strand that I've got for you. <laughs> Just, uh, that's the penultimate strand, so this is the ultimate strand now. Now, again, I don't know what sort of price point you should be expecting for anything like this. It weighs so much. It is so weighty. It really, really is weighty. 360 carats. I can't even imagine what the weight is of that massive, massive 15 millimeter. Now there is only one strand left in the world. This is it. It is this one. It's the last one that's left. It's going to be the, the most considered. This takes us back to the natural beauty of Ratnapuri in India. They are massive. 273.95. This will be the most considered strand of the entire focus. One chance. We're going to drop that price into 159.95. I know it's considered. I do appreciate that it is considered. It's 360 carats of natural and enhanced ruby. Deep black cherry colours. Um, I can't get over the size of those. They are absolutely gigantic in the round. There is only one strand left in the world. This is it. It's 159.95. Absolutely spectacular size ruby. Goodness me, goodness me. Let me bring you the, right, so the seed beads for the kit. Oh, by the way, congratulations if you got hold of that last ruby strand. That was absolutely incredible. Well, well done indeed. Thank you for joining us for that. And of course, if you've got any questions about your ruby, please feel free to just uh, ask them as we're going through the next sort of 10 minutes or so. Um, these... are the colours of the seed beads that Katie's used in our second kit. They're available for pre-order now. Six tubes available for you for pre-order. Now, you've got the most gorgeous rainbow bright colours coming through here, you really have. But what we've got to remember as well is that there is, and we haven't put these up for pre-order yet, but there is a load of sparkle here. Now, this is a second part of the kit that Katie has used. Now, you can see all those gorgeous colours here. Let's show you 
the beautiful bracelet, the cuff bracelet that Katie's made that incorporates. Now, we're not going to be focusing on the bracelet for the demo because we're going to be focusing, all of you have been asking about the weave of the necklace that Katie's wearing. And of course, she's got that in the demo tonight for you. Um, but I just wanted to show you this bracelet and show you all those amazing, the, the bicones are gorgeous. And that is proper rainbow bright with those Soroskis, isn't it? Mm-mm-mm. They do look good. Now, they're not available for pre-order at this moment in time, but the seed beads are. Also, very, very quickly, while we're talking seed beads, did you check out of your seed bead bead and go? With your two funnels, of course, as well. Have you checked out of this at this moment in time? This is your bead and go tray. It's fourteen ninety five. There were so many of you. Twenty three in baskets not yet checked out. Twenty three in baskets not yet checked out. Please do make sure that you are checking out. It came back. Well, it sold out in June. Hasn't been back in. It's back now, and we only took delivery of ninety nine. Of these now also what I just wanted to give you a bit of a heads up because at the end of the fab 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 kit that we've got with Katie we've got the Siam brand new gold chain so it's gold color chain with Siam Swarovski, bright, 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 bright reds all coming your way and so much more. Looking forward to that, really looking forward to that. Now I have, love this. Now I, unfortunately, I would have loved to have made this a bit of a star buy for you this hour, but unfortunately, 25, that's all we got left. 25. Now, that's not enough to go around because what you've got is, look at that, I love that, look at that, beautiful. Now, you don't necessarily, if you didn't want to, you wouldn't have to necessarily use the connector. You could incorporate that with your seabed embroidery, without a doubt, you could wire wrap that. The connector is there simply for you to just add that straight away to cord, satin, silver chain, 80 carats of amethyst, huge, absolutely gorgeous, massive piece of amethyst. And again, that colour is a deep, beautiful purple, isn't it? 0800 644 655, last 25 in the world on your screen at 995. That is a massive size amethyst, isn't it? 995, 0800 644 655. Join us online and, of course, you can download the app from the App Store and Google Play. But what I will say to you is please do not miss out on getting a hold of that massive amethyst pendant. It's sold out. Well done. Well, well done. Fantastic stuff. Also, thanks, sweetheart. Got it. Um, which one first? You want to do another amethyst? Yeah, it's lovely. Faceted and sparkly at the same time. <sighs> lovely. Look at these. They look good, don't they? Very good. Mm, mm, mm. Coming to you from your southern Colombo in Zambia, southern Zambia, of course. And gorgeous colour. Look at how deep those colours are. About 80 to 85% saturation there. Absolutely spot on for some of the deepest and darkest gorgeous amethyst coming out of Africa. Um, and they are gorgeous. They're faceted as well. You've got a 38 centimetre strand. I would be, I would, without a doubt, multi-buying on this. You'd want a necklace, you'd want a stretchy, you'd want simple drop earrings and the whole lot, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. definitely. 10.95. All natural, all unenhanced. And I'm hoping all yours. They look great. Look at just how beautifully lustrous that is. A couple of uh, beautiful jump rings in between there. Hang some charms off. You're good to go. Gorgeous. Really, really lustrous. That is very, very lustrous stock. Next one we've got for you. Is 
These are really nice. The reason these are fabulous is the size of the drill hole is absolutely gigantic on them, which is fab. Think about the fact that you can work with your paracord with this. Are they the ones I've got in, in here? Oh, are they? Yeah, You've got, got them in, in your J-Dite bracelet? Yeah. Oh, let's have a look at that. Katie's yeah. got a J-Dite um, bracelet that she's... Over. No, 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 yeah. it's okay, sweetheart. Um, Katie's got a J-Dite bracelet that she's made. J-Dite rounds. Oh, they look great. Yeah. They look great. Yeah, yeah. and I, that, I bought them specifically for that, for that J-Dite, yeah. They, they look, look great. They nestle they perfectly with the round yeah. because yeah, of the way of that they hug. just... Yeah. yeah. Really nice. I love the size of them as well. Really do. I love the size of that uh, drill hole size because that's satin, that's cord, that's leather. You've got so many different mediums that are going to pass through there with ease. Kumihimo, nice thick macrame braids. You know, you've got so much going on there that you could uh, pass through there. Um, you've got um, 10 in the pack. Nice big brush of solid sterling silver, of course, with a lovely mirror finish. 2.3 grams of solid sterling silver. You've just seen them in a fabulous stretchy with jadeite on Katie's own wrist that she's made herself. There are so many of our guest designers who adore our jadeite and wear jadeite bracelets on stretchies or maybe on, um, on wire, maybe with then with your uh, solid sterling silver findings. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Do you love jadeite? I do. It is a lovely gemstone. It's very Quite smooth. Yeah, on. have you? Have you? <laughs> I just find it really hard to part with it. Yeah, it's one of those. Um, if you buy the strand to work with it for somebody else, it's like no, you, you need to commission. You need to do the commission now, otherwise I'm going to just make something yeah. for myself. <laughs> All there for you. Uh, Nancy and Shirley, Jeanette and Anila, collectors in South Yorkshire, Kim, Delia, Rhonda, Candy, anonymous callers. Well done indeed to you. Hold those lines. Star by next. Um, these are just perfect if you are looking to have, let me just show you because these are side drilled. Remember we had a request um, sort of recently about having your button pearls but instead of having them drilled through the top here so they stack on each other, having them side drilled so they could, your wishes are command, look at that, side drilled freshwater cultured pearls, massive 10 by 9 to 12 by 10. Um, because of the way that they sit, because of that button base, that lovely flat surface, they are, they are gorgeous, aren't they? They work perfectly on the wrist as well. Don't they just? just uh, they'd be amazing yeah. as um, cufflinks as well. Oh, yes. Amazing. Wouldn't they? Yeah. Just perfect, because you wouldn't have anything to disrupt the surface yeah. of the pearl or the, with the pearlescence. That's what's so lovely about it. They are gorgeous, really sizable pearls. Pearlescence is there, neutral colour is there, secondary tones are there, and a very, very, very long strand. Let's give it a measure for you because you haven't got that measurement on there. That is a 40 centimetre strand that you are getting. It's amazing, the price. Are you ready for this? This is kicking in for you at under £10. Look at the size of those pearls and the way that they're going to sit so beautifully flat. Even as a ring, if you think about how those flat pearls are going to sit against the skin. They are beautiful, absolutely. You've been asking for side drilled pearls so that you could wear button pearls flat against the skin for months, and now they're here. 9 95 only for huge size pearls. Also, they're gonna still look gorgeous in neckline pieces and in drop earrings. And what's lovely is if you had them on a head pin, you'd have the whole surface of the pearl facing rather than the side of the pearl. So think about how much surface pearlescence you're going to get out of those button pearls. Gorgeous. 9 95 that's all you are having to pay for a massive strand of pearls. 0800 644 655. 
jewelrymaker.com of course and make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can they are gorgeous absolutely good i would like to squeeze in i've got some kyanite that i'd love to squeeze in um it is by far and above it's the best kyanite i've ever laid eyes on in this building in seven years i've got five strands left i i can't leave it in the warehouse i don't say that something is the best that i've seen unless i mean it and for those of you who will recall when i first saw this strand i've never seen kyanite as good as this in this building. Ninety carats of kyanite. Five mil thirty eight centimeters and the color is so incredible. It's true, it's natural. Every single moment of this strand gives you a little bit of hint of iridescence. Um, it is my, it's a magnificent strand. I've never, ever, ever seen another strand of kyanite that has beaten this strand in appearance, in colour, in smoothness, or ever in rounds like this before. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The colour just pops, doesn't it? I've got this strand. Have, have you? Strand, yeah. Have you got it? Yeah. Katie owns this strand. Uh, you own the best strand, Katie, I've best. ever seen. Yeah. It's, amazing. It's, it's amazing. And I don't say that lightly. You know, in, in the last 11 years that I've been in the, in the, in the jewellery industry, in the gemstone industry, um, without a doubt, it is the best. It's not Fisher filled. It's not um, dyed. It's not enhanced. It's all natural. You've got an absolute... Yeah. Have you done anything with it yet? I haven't used a lot of it. I've okay. used... Uh, literally one at a time and uh, usually for a bridal pearl commission oh, I put one nice. pearl just next to the clasp at the back one lovely one, one kind of with pearls and then just just one at gorgeous back. Just, uh, something blue beautiful yeah. and very and something very very special as well because 33.95 is the lowest price the lowest price please check it out we've got the last five and that's it in seven years, I've never seen a strand like this. When I saw it, I said to you, hands down, it was the best. With the last five in stock, when it's gone, it's gone. Please do make sure that if you've fallen in head over heels in love with it, you are checking out. It is gorgeous. Good, good luck. Right. We have got... Sarovsky's coming up. We've got the seed bead amazing kit coming up with Katie. We've got the most amazing demo with Katie coming up, of course. Uh, the necklace that Katie's been wearing, of course, which is her own necklace uh, with the golden obsidian in. We're going to be seeing that weave in the, in the demo with Katie with this kit. So keep your eyes open for that. Beautiful rainbow brights that you fall in head over heels in love with. Uh, we've still got the Siam chain. We've still got more Swarovski to bring you and, and so much. So please do make sure that you are checking out. And by the way, the price on the web that you can see for the seed beads is not the price you'll be paying. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello everyone, uh, guest designer Mark Smith here with some amazing news. I'm very, very, very excited about this. On Wednesday the 1st of November, it's going to be Mark Smith Day. So everything that Mark Smith loves about Jewelry Maker and its products will be showcased throughout the day. So in the morning show, I'll be on with presenter Carol and we're going to have a chip and nugget bonanza. One of the kits, in fact, just to let you in on a little secret, is going to have 10 metres in length of chips and nuggets with a bit of wire thrown in and the most amazing diamond kit as well. And then in the afternoon from 1 till 6, we're going to have, be joined by presenter Becky 
and we're going to be talking about paracord and wire macrame, which I haven't done wire macrame for so long, I'm really excited about it. And then in the evening, presenter Zena and I will be focusing on Swarovski and seed beads, another massive love of mine. So hope you can join me and the amazing presenters on Wednesday the 1st of November for Mark Smith Day. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three-pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. The Jewellery Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Oh, welcome back to the late show. It's got a bit cold in here. I'm going to put my little uh, Macardi on. It's like, oh, it's gone chilly, oh, isn't it? Enough. Apparently the temperature's dropping outside. I did say it was going to get cold. I did say. How are you? I hope you're really, really well. Thank you for joining us for the late show into the last hour. And that means masterclass. And we're going to be focusing on this beauty. Now, I will show you uh, all the jewellery that uh, Katie has made because it is quite spectacular it really really is but we're going to be focusing on this neckline piece now you all saw that Katie was wearing a neckline piece that had uh, seed beads from the first kit but in a weave that is from our second kit so we're going to be looking at that with Katie in a moment but Let's just look at the other pieces of jewellery as well, because if we had more time, we'd be able to see, I mean, just the simple, lovely earrings. Look at those. You've got such a burst of colour. They do look absolutely cracking. Then, of course, you've got your bicones and the sea beads coming together in a beautiful bracelet. Amazing colours. And of course, as you can see here, I mean, we've been showing you this amazing, almost Harlequin style bracelet. It's spectacular. It really, really is. If we had enough time, that would be brilliant, but we haven't. So we've chosen the weave that everybody's been asking about as well, which is great. Let's focus on the Swarovski part of the kit first. The Swarovskis within the, the second part of the kit, so with the sea beads are part one, the Swarovskis are part two. Um, it's the Rainbow Brights, and they, they are... Beautifully bright, they aren't they? They are, they're stunning. Um, you've got some really vibrant, vivid colours here. So, you've got, if I just, oh God. <laughs> We've got, I'm just going to pick this up for you so I can show you. Oh, let's just move that little bit there. Um, okay, so we've got um, the Aquamarine Swarovskis in a four mil, the Emerald Swarovskis in a three mil, uh, there are bicones, of course. You've got the Crystal Bicone Pack of 48 in Peridot Shimmer. You've got the Crystal Bicone Light Siam Aurora Borealis. That's those gorgeous reds, 3 mil. And you've got Crystal Bicone Light Topaz Aurora Borealis, 4 mil. And Tangerine Bicone Bead in a 4 mil. And they are glowing. Look at those. The colours are spectacular on them, aren't they? There's a lot of Swarovski here, an awful lot. I'm just working this out now. So we've got 48 in the aquamarine. 
48 in the emerald. We've got two, can I just double check, we've got two packs of, no, just the one pack of the Peridot, so 48 of the Peridot as well, yep. Then we've got 48 of the light Siam, 48 of the light Topaz, 48 of the Tangerine. 288 Swarovskis. Mm, mm, mm. A lot of sparkle, a lot of colour, a lot of pop of colour as well. It's a real, even, I know that you've been in that one bracelet. There is a tremendous amount of Swarovski in there. But just the little pop of colour, just in one of those is a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've got some new favourites. This tangerine is amazing. Isn't it, Jess? I absolutely love it. And uh, the yellow colour, yeah. absolutely amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Peridot. You know, they are gorgeous, yeah. aren't they? The Siam as well, because even though the, the, yeah. the Siam is, and the emerald green, they're smaller in size, but they don't lack anything no. in their kind of vividness, do no, they? Not at all. Really exciting. So you've got 288 Swarovskis coming your way, and the price tonight... 2770. Okay, 2770 for 288 Swarovskis. That's part one of the kit. To make the necklace that Katie is wearing, you need to know the weave that she's going to be working with. Um, and to do that, you're going to need these gorgeous colours of your seed beads as well. So, the second part of this kit, which has been available for pre-order, has been flying out of the door already. And I'm not surprised. Rainbow Brights is the name of this kit. <laughs> it's really, there, there is nothing more perfect. Now, you've already been checking out, and you can see it on the web for £30.95. And you've been checking it out at that price. That isn't your final low closing price tonight. It will only go lower. It will not go higher. So if you're checking out at over £30, thank you so much. You're going to be delighted when we take that price lower. Let me take you through what you're getting with these tubes as well. So let's just stand them up for you. That colour's beautiful, oh, yeah. isn't it? It's almost like tanzanite in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so we've got all your seed beads. This is the seed bead pack here that you're getting, all right? So we've got aqua seed beads in a size 11. We've got the green lined chartreuse. Aurora, but no, that's not the right graphics, is it? Are you sure? Hang on, can I just double check on my list? Oh yes, yes it is, sorry sweetheart, I've got it, I've got it, sorry. I was trying to, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I'm reading Green Line Chartreuse Aurora Borealis Seed Beads again, and that was in the kit that we had <laughs> earlier, that's okay. Um, so we've got the Aqua here, in the size 11, okay? We've got, I mean this is looking like Tanzanite in a tube. It is the dark cornflower, silver lined seed beads that you're getting, and they're a size 11. You're then getting, and I think I've got that, no that is, oh my goodness, hang on a minute. That is the cornflower, yeah. Yeah, that's the cornflower, isn't it? So that's aqua, that's cornflower, okay? Then we've got the lined yellow, the silver lined yellow Aurora Borealis size 8. There's the green line Chartreuse Aurora Borealis size 8. Then that beautiful transparent orange seed bead and that's in a size 11 and that is literally glowing in there. Almost like, it's like jelly glowing. It's amazing. And then you've got there the silver lined flame red Aurora Borealis seed beads. So spectacular colours. Really spectacular colours, bright, vivid, uh, really sort of showcasing the best of those gorgeous colours and they complement the Swarovskis amazingly, don't they? If we were to pop, and bear with me, because if you are popping, and I don't know whether I can pop this onto your mat in a yeah. second, my lovely, just to show everyone at home once I've kind of lined these up. Stay there. And pop those there as well. And you've got the most amazing, I just bring that there, just so that everybody could just see how beautifully they all work together. They work spectacularly, don't they? They do. Absolutely spectacularly. Um, price on your screen at the moment is over £30 for the seed bead. We're going to take it down to under 20 which I 
think is amazing for That's, the sea beads, don't you? That is. There is a huge amount of sea beads. Oh, my goodness me. What a bargain. Do make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can on those. Really important. And do you know what? Whilst you're doing that, we'll cycle through those graphics. We'll change the graphics over. One will be for the Swarovski kit. One will be for the sea beads. But it's over to Katie so Katie can talk us through exactly what we need to do to get this amazing necklace effect. Okay. So it's called a twisted or a spiral herringbone. Yep. Okay. And... You can do it in all one colour, you can do it in two colours. I've done one which is what you like, yeah, yeah. yeah. like a candy cane. I've done it mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I did the three colours to make it a little bit harder on myself. <laughs> <laughs> to, to follow Looks it great through. Though. But if you all you need to do is set your colours out in the right order. Okay. And then you're just following and okay. going around Smash and it. around. Okay, so I've added a stop bead. Yep. And I've left around about six inches or so. Mm -hmm. You're going to use that to attach. I unless you're going to put a clasp on, and probably leave it maybe about eight or nine inches. But I've used that to actually join it together underneath those Swarovski. Ah, there. okay, yeah. It's actually joined the whole the whole rope. Okay, is beautiful. Together. Yeah, because okay. that's long enough to go over the head, isn't it? Yes, mm. yes. So I've started with my my red. So these are all size eights. Yeah. You can do this in any size mm. seed bead doesn't have to I would say do it on the same size but I'm sure I've not tried it but I'm sure you probably would be able to do it mm, in, yeah in other sizes mm -hmm. as well so what we do is we start off with a ladder stitch that's going to be our base row so we've added two yep so one two and what we're going to do is going to come back through those two okay okay so hold on to your beads and pull that back through and what you want them to do is sit next to each other like so. Okay. They will sit a bit wobbly to start with. Don't worry about it. We're going to sort that out in a second. Okay. Okay. So you're going to add your next colour, which will be the orange. Mm -hmm. So we're coming out at the bottom of this yellow. So we're going to come in at the top. So we're going to in and at the top. So it's just a ladder stitch. And get that to sit. So you've got three in a row now. And then you're going to come back up through that orange so you're set up to pop your next bead in. Yeah. Okay, which will be the red because we're starting our pattern again. So up through the, the orange, back down through the bead you've just added. So it's literally just adding a ladder mm -hmm. of beads. So we're coming out through the bottom, in through the top. And pull back up. Sorry, I've you kind of do have to hold it with your thumb. Yeah, no, no, that's what we're yeah. really close up yeah. on your yeah. on the oh, on the wee yeah. We can see. Okay, so and adding our last one. Now to start off, we're going to just do some normal herringbone, just two rows of normal herringbone, and then we're going to make it into the tube. Okay. But just before we do that, sorry, we're just going to work our way back, up and down, back through here. Okay. And this is just going to strengthen up our base row. Just literally going up and down, just following the path, strengthening up our base row so that we're ready to start beading. And I normally bead from right to left, so okay. I will just turn that over. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, holding it here. So we're going to, whatever bead we're coming out of, yeah. that's the one we're going to add. And the oh, bead we're okay. going into is the, the second bead. We're going to add two beads at a time. Okay. So these are our first two beads, the red and the yellow. Okay. So red yellow so we're adding two beads this yep. time and we're going to come down through that yellow okay they will sit at a slight angle but that is the herringbone stitch yeah okay, okay. And i'm going to come up through our orange and we're going to add the orange and back to the beginning of our mm -hmm. row to the red it's all quite simple at the moment so and then we're going to continue up through the yellow, adding a yellow, oops, adding a yellow and an orange. Just let you know there's loads in baskets that need to be checked out of the kits. Please, there was about 27 kits not yet checked out. And well over, well over half of the vault quantity is out of the door already. Well over. So please do make sure that you are checking out on those seed beads. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we've got our two rows. Yeah. We're going to kind of fold it in half and our thread is exiting the orange mm -hmm. make sure you miss that stop bead yeah and come up through the reds the reds okay 
So, and now we're going to start, let's just come back down there, what I do, it's not necessary, but just so that I know everything's together. Yep. Come back up and yep. down there again. Okay, so... It starts off almost like so, a little tube then. So we are mm. in a tiny little tube. Okay? Yeah. You can see that there. Right, so we're going to start our normal herringbone, which is the normal tubular herringbone. Yeah. So it's really difficult to hold at this point. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So these are our two first two bees, because this is where we're exiting out of this red. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go... What I find is when you when you do it this way, you do kind of reverse your beads because you've joined it together. Ah, uh, okay. So now we're red lovely. into yep. orange. So it depends on which direction you bees, or you can you could bead this way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's entirely up to you. Okay. But, uh, we'll do, in fact, no, we'll do, we'll go that way. Okay. Red okay. into the yellow. So we're going in the same direction. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to come down just one bead. Okay. Okay. So we're missing that first initial row that we did, and we're just coming down one bead. Yeah. What we want to do is keep doing this, adding our herringbone, just as we did on our flat mm -hmm. herringbone, we just did. All you need to do is just encourage them to behave and sit nicely on top. <laughs> and then we're going to come up the next bead, yep. which is orange, but not through the bottom, through yep. the, that same row. Okay. So, and then we're going to add an orange, because we've just come out of the orange, and into our red, just down that one bead. And... Normally I would grab hold of it all, but I'm trying to let, let you be able to see it. Okay, so, and then back up the next one, which is yellow. We're really close up, yeah. darling, so we can see <laughs> exactly what you're doing, my lovely, right, so it's really good. and then a yellow and an orange, and back down. And then this row, because we've added a full row around, we need mm -hmm. to step up. Yeah. So instead of just going back up one bead, we're going back up two. Mm-hmm. Okay. So up the next two beads, like so. Okay, and we're going to just add one more round like yeah. this before we start our twist. Okay. Okay, so red, yellow, down one bead, up one bead, and orange, back to red. You will get to a point where you won't have to look as long as you know which bead you've come mm. out of and then down one bead adding just getting them to sit nicely just make sure you've not got any twisted uh, yeah. thread or anything before you carry on okay so we've come out of that yellow mm -hmm. adding a yellow orange so down one bead Okay, and you can see we've got back yep. to the start again, mm -hmm. so we're going to step up two. That is your last step up. Okay. Okay? Yeah. There are lots of different ways of, of doing it without step ups and with step ups and things, but I prefer this one. Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay? Yep. So now we're going to start the twist. Okay. Okay, so do exactly the same again. Red, yellow, because mm -hmm. they're, what, they're what we're going in, in and out of. And we're going to come down two beads for this time. Okay. So down two. Let them sit nicely on top, but only up one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, and if you can see, I've just pulled that slightly. It's just taking it off slightly mm, in that direction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And you'll see it more as it builds up. So, adding our next lot of beads. Down so down two. two this time. Yep. Yeah. Down two, up one. Okay. Okay, you can see they're already starting yeah. to, mm -hmm. to turn. So, adding our next set of beads down two, up one. So I spent an entire day last Sunday saying down two, up one, <laughs> down two. <up> <laughs> Do they think that yeah. you were uh, having a moment? <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is where we would normally have done our step up on this on this row. So, but we're just still going to go up that one. Okay. okay. Don't worry about all the thread that shows. As you work up, it kind of works its way okay, in and it yeah. builds it back together again. So I'll just do a couple more rows like this and then we'll move on to a piece that you can actually see a little bit more. So, yeah, so still down two, up one. Yeah. So this is, this is, I know that we're seeing the difference because obviously you've got the different colours. Yeah. But this is exactly the same technique that exactly you used for... Same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly the same. 
So it's, and it's just keeping doing the exact same thing. Okay. So down two, up one. I've missed a beat there. Okay, let's come back up through there. Down two. Once you get a little bit done, it's a lot easier. Yeah, I'm sure. But the thing is, as well, you're as well. holding it at the same yeah. time, aren't I'd you? I'd normally be holding it right up to my face. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> yeah. So, adding another one. And so, down two, up one. I feel like I'm just saying the same thing over yeah. and over again. Yeah. But that's, that's the thing you have to remember down two, up one, every time. Okay. So, and giving it a little little tug every now and again yep. but if you can see that is starting to mm, twist to, yep. instead of going straight up it's mm -hmm. starting, starting mm -hmm. to twist around now okay so i'll show you on this one because you'll see it's exactly the same here so it's twisting around mm -hmm. but this is how it will mm. build up build up yeah it's go. lovely so i'll just do another round on this one this one i was going in the opposite direction but like I said, it just depends on, on yeah. which way okay yeah so down down two, so down then two yellow, and up one, and then orange to red, down two, and up one. And once more, adding the right colours and down two and up one. So what you need to do is when you get to a length that you're happy with, yeah then you need to kind of bring it back together. Okay. Otherwise you're going to have one end that's nice and closed yes, like this, yeah. and the other end is open. open. It's almost like a little jester hat, isn't yes, it? Yes, <laughs> yes it is. If you, the little short piece that I've, that I've just done here, you can use them and look, set little little gemstones yeah. inside mm -hmm. them, like little mm. flowers sort of thing. Yeah, lovely idea. All right, so we're going to stop adding beads and we are start, going to start bringing everything together. So okay, I've just come down to, that's my up one. And then I'm going to continue without adding beads down to up one. Yep. So this is going to start bringing it all together. Down to up one. So it's just basically the same thing, but just not adding any beads. And then when you come to this point where there's already, yep. you've already come up one, mm -hmm. just follow that through. So it's still down to and just bring everything together and just keep going around and around until it all nicely bunches up together. Mm, up. Mm. And then all I did was what you'll find is that when you bring it round, your beads will meet. Okay. So you because you've you've followed the same pattern all the mm. way around. And it is basically just sewing in and out just to, just sew to it bring together. it all together. Just literally sew it sew it together. Feels amazing. There's it's got it's, some weight to it, hasn't it just? Yeah. But I still didn't use all those colour beads. No? No, no, I think I stole about a third of a tube of each, wow. each of those colours. It is, it is sea bead heavy, but it's gorgeous. I love the fact that it's big enough that you don't have to have a clasp on it as well. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So then we've got these sections here, haven't we, where you've used the, your favourite yeah. tangerines. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you can just join it together and it will be fine kind of on its own. Mm. But I just kind of wanted to join that little section Hold on a second. There we go. <laughs> uh, join that little section and then cover it over. Okay. Just so that everything was uniform, so mm, you don't see that mm -hmm. little sort of normal normal weave section. Okay. They are movable because they're bicones. They kind of grip to. Mm, so yeah, not, definitely. Not yeah, to, yeah. To they are. I haven't actually sewn them on. They're just yeah. sewn around. Yeah. Okay. So, they're lovely. And this this is what what's what it is. It's a little just a little ring of crystals. Yeah. So you've um, used the tangerines, the tangerines and the flame reds, yeah, is it? Yeah, and then some of them I did, did with the yellows as well, so everything kind of toned in. So you, how, I'm just working out now, so they would have been open and then you would have yeah. closed it and sewn it closed yeah, so around it. Have we got time to show you? Yeah, Becky's saying yeah. 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 So what I, <laughs> so... I did it with two because I wanted to uh, sort of match the the kind of width of a, of a bicone, so mm -hmm, doing it with, mm -hmm. with two. So, and we just threaded these on. So, like you would do a ladder weave okay. um, to make a beady bead. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, so just threading these on 
and two more of the reds. Okay, so this is your first initial setup. Okay, so you've okay. got two needles. Yep, two needles. And two ends yeah. of your thread. Okay. Yep, you don't need a, a lot of thread, maybe. So I've not seen this technique 50, before. 50 centimetres. Mm. So it is a really basic technique, but I'm just using, imagining if you were just doing a normal bead to bead, mm. these, would, these two beads would be one bead. Okay. okay. I've never seen a bead to bead being made either. No. The little earrings. Um, I thought they, they were they little beady beads. Bead beads as yeah. Well. Okay. So. I've seen them, but I've never seen them being made. So mm. we've got. If you can imagine that, if we pretend that these are four beads. Yep. Okay, so our seed beads are... Yes, are yeah, of course, bead, yeah. yeah. So everything, we do, everything happens with, with both of these. So we're going to add these beads in this order. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then we're going to bring our thread around. Yep. And pass through these two seed beads again. Okay. Okay. And then pull it tight. So that's okay. yep. one little mm -hmm. section done. Okay. So, and then we're going to add next our bicones. So, one on each side. One and two. And then two seed beads. And then we're going to pass through those two seed beads with the opposite needle again. Okay. Okay. So, you don't need two of the flame reds on the other side because you're using. The ones yeah, that are all yeah, ready. So yeah. it's a bit like a right angle weave, mm -hmm. I suppose, as well. So we're making little units. Yeah. Okay. And the same again. We need to do this until we've got, I think it was six. Okay. So adding our, so it's be 12 back yep. combs mm -hmm, all together. Mm -hmm. And two of our seed beads. And then pass through our seed beads in the opposite direction. And pull together. So, and you can just whatever side rope that you decide to make, mm, or whatever you mm -hmm. want it to go around, you just kind of gauge it to to what you're working with. So, a bicone on each side again, and two more, mm -hmm. and then passing through our C beads again. Yep. And then we're just repeating the same again. So did you say you did six rounds, did you? Sorry? Did you say six rounds? Yeah, six, uh, there's six bicones on, six on each side ah, of each I round. I see, sorry, yeah. lovely, right, yeah. okay. Yeah, so this is the fifth. So when you get to the fifth, mm -hmm. all we're going to do is add a bicone on each side. So okay. one on each side. Now, if you are doing just to make a little ring like I've made separately mm. here, you just add it like so. But because they don't slide very well, because of the bicone, um, the shape of the bicone mm -hmm. against the beads, you don't really want them to slide around no. with that design. Mm -hmm. So this is another reason why I made this piece. So, <laughs> and I did it straight around here. So I'll okay. just get rid of that needle. Okay, so we're going to join it together by coming through the first two seed beads that we mm -hmm. added. So we're going to come around one way. Now bearing in mind it would normally be a full yeah. uh, rope, so I'm not going to have thread getting in the way like it might do at the moment. And around here. Okay, and then we're going to join this together. Let's just get rid of that thread out of the way. So that's going to pull ah, together like okay, so. Yeah, okay, yeah. But then we need to bring it together a little bit further. Uh, let me just cut these. Hopefully beads won't fall off. That's my okay. stomach rumbling, excuse <laughs> me. It's, my stomach is going nuts at this moment in time, honestly. It's the witching hour. Oh, I've just cut my thread off. Oh, no! How silly is that? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll just do one side of it. <laughs> I meant to do that, honestly. <laughs> It's difficult to see with yeah, the studio lights as it well, is. Lovely. It says you make excuses for No, me. it's true. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to imagine that we're doing both sides and don't cut your thread off. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come, th we've passed through this, this one twice yeah. again. We're going to come through this bicone. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to kind of hold that to hold it yeah, tight. Yeah, no worries. Okay, and we're going to turn it a little bit. And we're going to add one of our red seed beads or whichever contrasting colour 
you wanted to add and pull this together. So let me try and pull that a bit tight. I can't believe I just cut that. It's live <laughs> telly, it's all right, yeah, lovely. Don't to worry about it. At some point, didn't it? So we've just obviously we would be adding another bead yes, this okay. side. And then we're gonna we've coming exiting this bicone and through here. So we're just gonna work around just adding, ah, adding these extra those beads, beads through there. Yes, I see. Until you get all the way around. Like so, just turning it a little bit at a time. And so you would be doing this over the join of your herringbone. Yep. Okay. Until you get. It's a lovely way of disguising it, though. It's a lovely yeah. way of hiding any sort of. I mean, even, even if you had a clasp at the back, there would still be quite mm, pretty definitely. sort of embellishments yeah. to go yeah. on top. Okay, and then you come through your last bicone. And then what I would do is go round again, mm -hmm. just to make sure it's mm -hmm. extra secure. And you would obviously do this at this side too. Yeah. Okay. And then before you go through. Once you've been round again, before you go through your next C bead, come through one of your middle ones. So this is kind of really securing it as tight mm, as possible. Mm -hmm. So through one of your middle ones, up through the next bicone. So you're kind of making a little loop around yeah. this section, and then come through one seed bead from one of this sec this central section, yeah. and pull through. And then you would do the same with your other side. Yes. And I'll then just knot it. Yeah. Knot yep. it. Work your thread through a little bit and snip it off. Lovely. Okay. It is fab. It's and a really it lovely make... little embellishment. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Really is lovely. Thank you. Fab. And amazing colours to work with, aren't they? Absolutely. Really exactly. amazing colours. Just to add, these orange are the same orange as the, the ones in one of those Yes, bundles. in this and one here. Silver lining. Yeah. So if you were to do a design with the orange and the Yeah, colours, absolutely. Fantastic. They just so glow, I don't know. they? They really do just glow. Amazing colours, amazing work again. Your seed bead work is fabulous. Thank you, thank you my lovely. Very, very much indeed. Um, thank you to Katie. Uh, we've got a star buy coming. Now, Katie's still with us all the way through until 10 o'clock, so questions, wing them this way. Uh, we've got a star buy up for you next. Little star by for you on some really sizable solid sterling silver ball spaces and they are let me just show you you've got a really big drill hole in these um, you've got eight millimeter rounds to start off with as a solid sterling silver spacer with a very sizable drill hole going through it. Now we spoke about these with the smaller size spaces for you earlier. Now we're getting three of these, quite substantial. Paracord, your Eslon, you know, you're thinking about all the different thread that will work through there, the different mediums that are going to go through here. Your macrame work, your kumihimo work. Um, just leather cord, for example, going through there. Big size drill hole going through. Three of those in solid sterling silver for you. 1.9 grams of solid sterling silver. Three of them in total, and they are beautifully polished. Look. That beautiful mirror-like finish that you're getting on there. Really lovely. Now, they're 1.9 grams of solid sterling silver. Again, you could work all of those on just one piece of jewellery. You could multi-buy, use them sparingly. It's entirely your prerogative, but you're going to want them at a star by price. That is most definite. 0800 644 655 395. 395. Multi-buying going on, which is gorgeous to see. 0800 644 655. Solid sterling silver spaces, and they are... Beautifully polished. I mean, you can literally see your face in those. They are proper mirror finish. They really are. Let's see if we can see camera two.
0800-644-655. If you're online, of course, do make sure you're checking out. And, of course, if you're via the app, lovely to have your company tonight. Um, so many of you there. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Tina. Hi, Candy. Hi to bidders in Cleveland. Uh, hello to Elizabeth. Hello to Isabel. Hello to Hazel. Hello to Gloucestershire, Cumbria. Uh, so many of you there. Please do make sure that you are checking out and confirming as soon as you can. 3.95. I like these a lot because I think that they are incredibly versatile. But what they do is they give everybody the knowledge that you're working with solid studding silver, really lovely precious metal with a big look here. And it could be worked more traditionally, but really when you're looking at that, just as standalone spaces or just as a standalone charm, could even get just the surface with one initial engraved even if you wanted to. 0800 655 395. I'd need Greater London, South Yorkshire, Cumbria and Buckinghamshire to all check out. Good luck. Right, we promised you more Swarovskis. Now we had Let's do this one first. Wowzers. Right, so I'm just going to make sure that all the fingerprints are off this one. This is big. This is about 18 millimeters in size. And it looks like you've got a 3D image of a drawing of a diamond, if that makes sense. I'll explain what I mean by that. Have a look at this. That is a big sparkler. It comes with a setting. I'm just going to drop that down and pop it in the setting for you. Right, I can't tilt that towards the camera too much because it will fall out of its setting. You will need to use, of course, your... Uh, oh gosh, look at that. So it looks like you're looking at a diamond from an angle. It's the tilted chaton with your 18 millimeter top loop setting. And of course, what you've got is that amazing Aurora Borealis. And it is. I mean, look at the Aurora Borealis. It's amazing, isn't it? Whoop. That's why you need glue. <laughs> Now, again, with that matte backing, don't use super glue because it makes the crystal go all cloudy. You want to be using your resins and your glues that are appropriate for this. So don't go just thinking that you can go to the hardware store and uh, buy your uh, super glue because that's not going to work. Nine ninety-five, and it is quite spectacular. You need to see this with your own eyes. You really do. Absolutely mesmerising stuff from Swarovski, to be fair to them. 9 95 on your screen. Um, again, what I will say is when you're looking at the elements, when you're looking at the elements of Swarovski and you're looking for different looks, they do offer a massive, massive variety of shapes and sizes and different kind of perspectives. That was amazing. 9 95 Now, I've got a smaller version of it. Just going to make sure there's uh, no fingerprints on this. Bear with me a sec. You've got that matte metallic backing as well. Pop it back in here. Now this is a different colourway. This is the copper colourway, so it's a very different colour. This is your 12 millimeter rhodium top loop setting. The colours are mesmerising, proper metallic tones. There's only one in the pack. And the price you're going to get tonight, under £5. Under £5 for your Swarovski elements. Enjoy it. I don't know, again, you know, where you're going to be seeing looks like this available in the high street. If you go to the Swarovski store, you could see... That beautiful facet and shape and beautiful amount of sparkle in their, in their windows, in their shop windows. You absolutely could. I don't think you'd be paying $4.95, uh, $4 rather. Multi-buy if you'd like to. Do make sure that you're checking out and confirming. Again, amazing offers on big brand and proper branded costume jewellery. Really big. I mean, you, you can't really get bigger than uh, the sort of the, the Swarovski branding, really, can you? Four ninety five on your screen for that sparkle, and of course to get a very, 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 very distinctive shape from Swarovski. We're going to try and squeeze in as much as we can. We've got the Siam 
beautiful gold rush chain coming up from Swarovski very, very soon indeed. But we've got a bit more to squeeze in before then. And we delve into box number 14 for your champagne pearls. These are lovely. Really soft champagne tone. Very, very, very alluring. Very last of stock on these ones. Uh, six by three to seven by six millimeters. The final 10 strands, my goodness me, 38 centimeters. They've got a lovely soft color to them. They have, and they've got their, 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 those ones with the flat bottoms. Yeah, they They're have. Great for adding to Shibori. Definitely. Like that. That'd be fantastic. It's 3.95. 395 that's all you are having to pay is 395 for champagne freshwater cultured beautiful pearls from the freshwater pearl farms of china you've got that gorgeous pearl essence you've got that stunning caramel soft soft caramel color at 395 Oh, 0800 655 Do make sure that you are checking out and confirming the last, the last of, the last of stock. Hold those lines, hold those lines. We're going to move on then to, so they again, lovely, 50. We've got solid sterling silver, really gorgeous, simple, and yet definitely a must-have for the stash. Solid selling silver, open jump ring, six mil, ten in a pack. And a re I mean, this has got to be just one you have in your stash, isn't it? Yeah, they're essentials. When we had that big um, fluorite pendant earlier, to pop yeah. one of these in as the, uh, the jump ring that you need then to yeah. attach it to a bale, yeah. it, it's just perfect to be able to do that, isn't it? And you've instantly made it more higher end absolutely you've got your sterling mm -mm -mm, without a doubt got a pack of 10 coming your way 245 <laughs> oh we love a deal on solid sterling silver don't we we really do love a deal 245 10 solid sterling silver jump rings six millimeters in size oh 800 six triple four six five five we're gonna move on for you it's all very 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 last of stock we are coming towards the end of tonight's late show for you and with you on the mid tomorrow <laughs> oh sorry team sorry team um i don't know who have you got instead of me then tomorrow night lucy have you got lucy maybe maybe <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> i'm gonna move on to number 12 mookite very 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 last of stock on absolutely everything look at the colors if there is not a gemstone that is more suitable to this time of year. Glossy, beautiful purples, berry tones, mustard tones, gold tones, champagnes. They are gorgeous. 84 centimeter strand, five by four to 14 by seven millimeters. It's an extra long strand, look at that. And yeah, it's your chips and your nuggets. However, don't forget, Mark is with you, of course, over the weekend. And that means that he is going to, be, no, 1st of November, sorry. First of, no, I keep thinking the 1st of November is over the weekend. It's not. 1st of November, next Wednesday, uh, for Mark Smith Day. And in the morning, focusing on your chips and nuggets. So this is perfect to get hold of in time. 2.95 for a gemstone that only originates in the Mooka Valley. It's not from Brazil. Why haven't we changed that? <laughs> oh, it drives me nuts. Um, that is not from Brazil. That is from Australia. It only comes from Australia. It isn't available from Brazil. It doesn't form in Brazil. That is a graphic error. So I'm really sorry because that is like the third time that I've seen it now where it hasn't been corrected. Someone's going to get a slap on the wrist. <laughs> We're going to move on to, oh yeah, of course we can. Let's do this. This is the Tiffany cup chain. This is Swarovski Tiffany cup chain. It's like a smoky quartz beauty. It's gorgeous. So this is gold brushed brass cup chain with smoky quartz color crystals. 50 centimeters and they are beautiful 
look at that. 0800-644-655. So remember that you need to be dialing so that you can check out and confirm as soon as you can. It is a genuine opportunity to get Swarovski in a smoky quartz colour. I've got to make sure that you know that. Now, obviously, for whatever reason, Swarovski can call their crystal, their man-made crystal, they can call it tanzanite, amethyst, emerald, ruby, um, but they don't say it's colour. We want to make sure that you know, let's not get confused between this and our real smoky quartz. This is Swarovski crystal in the colour of smoky quartz. It's proper lovely though for autumn, isn't Very it? Very decadent. Isn't it? Yeah. Just. <laughs> those colours are, the richness of those colours, the champagnes and the golds that you're getting through on these smoky quartz. You can see, and they are beautifully pronged set as well. It's got to be said. <laughs> really lovely. Now, the price on this one that you're going to get tonight for us, it is a, just going to drop that in for you. So you can see there's no kind of finished ends there. You would need to attach your clasps onto this. There's loads of tutorials on our Facebook page and at jewelrymaker.com, of course, and on our YouTube channel. There are loads and loads and loads of tutorials on how to work your cup chain. And you can always just sort of jump on to, to um, Jewelry Maker's Facebook page anyway and speak to our amazing community. I think there's only over 67,000 members on there now. Um, and I'm sure any of them would, with, with any sort of experience with cup chain, will jump on there and help you out if you get stuck. 21.95. Some big size Swarovskis in that cup chain as well, aren't there? They really are. $21.95, your price night. We've still got the Siam and the gold brush chain. That's coming up for you next. So if you're looking for red and gold, the next one's definitely for you. Make sure that you are holding those lines. Well, well done. Let's bring you the Siam. Gorgeous. Very vibrant. It's very cleverly done. It's got to be said. It does look like some of the amethysts and the moonstone that we've done for you in silver before now. Um, this is your Siam Red Swarovski in gold brush channel set. Gorgeous chain. There is so much gorgeous red colour in this. Um, it is an amazing Swarovski. This is the red Siam. Now, we saw it in the bicone earlier. We saw it in the bicone earlier, but it just doesn't come out as red as we'd love it to down the camera lens. It's so vivid and vibrant and so wonderfully full-on scarlet in colour. Getting little flashes of it. Little flashes of red. Looks really deep there, doesn't it? I suppose that's the beauty of it, though. It has that sort of variety. It is a really bright red, though, in the studio, isn't it? From this angle, I can, I can see all the all them beautiful red flashes. And there is loads of them, isn't there? Yeah, it's beautiful. This is your gold brush channel chain, or it might be Chanel chain. I'm not sure because it said earlier on that we had a Tiffancy rather than a Tiffany. So who knows? Swarovski chain with your Siam gold brushed 50 centimeter chain. So you've got the beautiful Siam bezel set and then you've got jumpering links in between. It looks expensive. The reds are bright. The gold is tasteful in its colour. It's not too brash, it's not too brassy. It's really, really tasteful. And a chance to see a little bit of a difference in how Swarovski work their chain. I was saying earlier about how my, um, my mum was looking for something a little bit more attractive for a glasses chain. And this would be perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. It's even got the two little connector points there where you could wrap the, uh, the connector rounds to be able to put them over yeah. the glasses. Yeah. No, arms. Oh, be beautiful, wouldn't it? be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Really lovely. 
50 centimeters. Now, of course, you could snip it up. Of course, you could. You could make that into just a simple bracelet. And you could cut that up, of course, and then pop your own jump rings on to connect it. Absolutely. That's nice like that, mind, isn't it? It is. Really lovely. Reminds me of Elsa Peretti's Colour by the Yard as well, the way that they deal with their Diamonds by the Yard or Colour by the Yard designs, where you've got the chain and then you've got the bezel set and then it continues and another bezel set then continues. And it does have that lovely expensive feel to it. Um, your chance to get hold of this tonight if you'd love to get those gorgeous festive reds and those amazing golds. It is perfect for the run-up to Christmas, isn't it? It really, really is. Oh, it's 100 644 Jewelrymaker.com of course you can join us online and via the app do make sure that you're checking out on anything that you've had from us so far and of course if you're watching on the repeat some of those things today will have sold out so well well done if you got it first time around i'm really sorry if you missed out on the repeat 0800 655 um your chance to own all of that under 20 pounds under £20 tonight for um, Anila and Caitlin, collectors in the Highlands, Jeanette, Anita, collectors in Staffordshire, collectors in Hampshire, new callers you are there. Lovely to see you tonight. Really lovely. Loving the fact that you are multi-buying as well. It's nice to see those bright reds and golds, isn't it? Really nice. It's actually nice to see a different shape and idea outside of the cup chain. Yes. It's not often we get a chance to see yeah. that with Swarovski. Yeah. So it's I really nice. Breaking that up and using them all as individual connectors. Yeah, you could yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, maybe into your chain mail. Mm. Something like that. Really, really well. nice yeah. with some of the um, gold-coloured jump rings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really nice idea. It's a massive splash of colour. Every single one of those it siams, is. though, it isn't is. it? I wish it was coming through on the camera because it's it's such a flash of that beautiful red. Well, you see, you can take mine and Katie's word for it and the team's word for it here. Just see it when you get it home see it when you get it home please please do um we're going to recap some of the seed bead kits because you haven't yet checked that out i'm going to do that over there with lovely katie so uh, come with me i'm going to take this because of course i need to know the colors that you've got so if you come with me and we'll go and stand with Katie and we'll go and have a look at all those seed bead kits uh, that we had, all the bundles that we had for you. Now, a lot of them have nearly sold out. There's like eights and sixes left. That's about it. So, should we start with... Yeah, I've got it. Yep. So, we've got your Delicas. So, I think these were about seven... We had about 72 originally we don't have 72 left lovely colors aren't they they are beautiful really love lovely this delica color. It's really mm. pale pink. um we are looking at 19 in baskets not checked out uh, you've got the blue gray seed bead in the size 11 the chartreuse lined green aurora borealis in an eight a delica matte transparent pink mist in an 11 light pink seed beads in an 11 and silver lined aqua aurora borealis in an eight all there for you 21.95 i do need to make sure we put the delicas back in that little tube sorry it was that little that little pot there sorry guys there's still a little little pot of delicas somewhere sorry um plus now these have flown out. I think we've got a handful of these left and that is it. So we've got the silver lined dyed pumpkin in the 15. Oh, I think we've mix, mixed those up. Hang on, that goes there. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So we've got the Silver light dyed pumpkin in the size 15. We've got the galvanized gold seed beads in the size 15. We've got the mm, 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 transparent green aurora borealis seed beads in an eight. Then we've got your huge, huge silver lined dark topaz in a six. You've then got those amazing uh, orange that we were talking about earlier. These are the matte silver lined orange in a size six. And then you have that beautiful, uh, the galvanized, um, um, 
where have they come from? Hang on a minute. No, they were in the other one. There we go. <laughs> you know, when you're looking at the pack and you think, right, okay, no, that's not there. So that's everything there. There we go. And that one, so that was all the colours that you had there. There's the blue, the blue grey ones. The map. So that's all of those together. They got a little bit mixed up. And this is this kit here. So there we go. That makes sense now. All those gorgeous colours. They are beautiful. So they are all available on your screen for 17 I think that's 17.75 for those is amazing. What well, six left, that's it. Six bundles left. Loads of you with it in your basket, not checked out. Right, we're gonna bring you the bead and go. So you've got your six tiers with 10 compartments in each tier. 60 compartments for your seed beads, plus your two funnels, okay? This unscrews, comes out, and then you can uh, uh, sort of access all of the different layers. It's nearly sold out. 14.95 for the bead and go. Now, if I just show you very, very quickly, and tilt it forward, you get a chance to see there, the lids and the compartments. So it's not necessarily for a full tube of beads, no, is no, it? No, it's for a, a pro working on a project. Yeah. yeah. And it is only 14 95 So do make sure that you are checking out and confirming. We only had 99 in stock. That's all we had. So many in baskets not checked out. So, so, so many. So please do make sure that you are checking out. Um, Katie, when are you back, my lovely? I'm back next Thursday. Next Thursday. So next that's the Thursday. 2nd of November. It is on the late show. On the late show. Yeah. I won't be with me because I'll be in Spain. I don't know who I'm with you. I don't know either. Yeah. I don't know either. <laughs> um, I think it might possibly be Lucy. Possibly. Um, I know. Um, and that is, and do, have you got your kits for that yet? I have got my kits. They are bonfire night themed. Mmm. Yes. Fabulous stuff. Um, listen, I will be back with you for the mid show tomorrow. Hope you can join Ooh. us for. <laughs> it's like, oh. Um, I will be back with you. I will. Be, I can still judge you when you eat rubbish food. Don't you worry about that, team. <laughs> um, I get on my soapbox. Don't you worry. Um, listen, we will see you tomorrow morning. We open our doors live at eight o'clock. I'm going to be joining Patty here in a matter of moments to record her first ever DVD for us. So looking forward to that. We're going to be doing that until the wee small hours of the morning. Uh, so uh, Patty will be back with you then tomorrow morning for a live show. I know, bless her. So I'll be joining you from one o'clock tomorrow afternoon all the way through until six. Fabulous Katie joins you on Thursday night for The Late Show for more spectacular designs. And we'll open our doors at 8am tomorrow morning. We look forward to having your company then. Thanks for joining us. Nasta. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on. And whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury-making journey today.